You're watching the Frequency and Friends podcast season three with your boy Akunja Singh. All right, and we're back for season three. This is our first episode of the season. First and foremost, can we have a big round of applause just for the Woo! fact that we fucking made it to season three, man? Thank you to the like, whole team. I could not be happier to be here with you guys. We we started this, and we've said it a few times, we started this out of just pure joy and excitement for music, for the culture, for Punjabi culture, Pangra music, and it's really evolved to something that nobody here expected it to it's be. It's evolved to the point where we're getting hated on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the best. Are we that's how you know they're like doing good. Are, are we, we going to jump right into that? Our yeah. yeah. not good enough for some people. It's okay. Our okay. not good enough. We say things which people don't agree with. That's the best. Yep. And that it, means we're doing it, something. If we can, can we like share all the comments? Like, you know, just put them on our yeah, screen. Yeah. Well, we're, we're showing them right now. Yeah. Just look Absolutely. at the bottom of the screen. And uh, Those, That's what we're talking about. Fuck that guy. Before we get into all the hate, we got to acknowledge everybody who comes out episode after episode to make this happen because this is not just the guys at the table it's the guys behind the scenes jt chabai dolo umrit gill we got spin sing in the house we got uh simon, simon says in the house we got juggy donjo in the house we even got a lad from leeds in the house <laughs> man, yeah, sing. Cousin. and we also got the infamous He's bigger than me already. And, <laughs> the, and the main reason we're here today is not only to start off this season with a bang, but also to introduce our younger brother, a part of the Frequency team, a part of the, the whole the movement that we're trying to do. He's, he's Frequency family, and I'm surprised it's taken us this long to get him on the show, but let's welcome McWinder Singh on the show. Thanks. It's hey. an McWinder Singh production. Hey. I'm very excited Woo. to be here. <laughs> and of course, I got my co-host with me to my left, Jay Static. We Stay, got, say the last names properly this Jay time. Jay Static. You uh, can't static? say it. No? Yeah. <laughs> right. That's good. That's good. Yeah, we got DJ KSR. We got Jyoti Dylan. No, no, no. <laughs> you just fucked it all up. You don't know Punjabi, man. <laughs> Jyoti Dylan, and then we got uh, DJ M, of course. On the one that yeah, yeah. always hooking it up. And you're the only one. Host. Yeah, and, you're, and, sorry, you're the only one who got a last name in. Like, so I'm pretty yeah, sure that's yeah, why yeah. he said it because that's he it. said he always says Jyoti Dylan. And of course, my so yo, say, all right. say it alone. Te long. Te long. Te long. Te long. For that hater, <laughs> that comment right there, that was for that guy. Are we addressing the haters already? Come yeah. on, leave it alone. Oh, we have to. All right, guys. So we're we're back for another episode. We're happy to be here. We got every all the introductions done. Let's get kind of uh, Into back, back to 2018 because oh. we skipped through it a lot. We had a lot of guests on the shows. We had a lot of people come through. The, the show was blowing up so we didn't get a lot of time to talk about what's going on with you guys, what's been happening in the industry, how we feel about the music that's released. So we're going to get into all of that. I'm going to start off with Jay Static right here who's had a lot going on this year. Track after track, your most recent one, I believe, was... Permissions. Permish, Permish Verma. Verma. Yeah, that was you, G. Siddhu. Yeah. And um, Permish Verma, obviously. Can you talk about that track? Tell us what was going on with that. Uh, yeah, that song, we met... I don't even know when we met. Uh, sometime last year. And then we were trying to figure out what song to do. He Sung heard star. that I did a song with... Uh, yeah, that's bad, man. Come yeah. on, man. You gonna uh, come to our show and put your ringer on? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> the we, uh, most unprofessional um, professional podcast. <laughs> Forgive us. It's okay. My fucking WhatsApp just went off. <laughs> <laughs> I was texting halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so you and Pramesh, I know Pramesh so was out in BC with us when we were there last time. Yeah, but yeah. before that we did a show here. Okay. So during that show, I was actually cousin Nick. Yeah, Nick uh, Banway. So, shout yeah, out Nick Banway, shout out. Uh, he sat us down in a room and he's like, oh shit, you did a song for Jesus. I love Jesus. Which song did you do? I'm like, oh, I did credit card. He's like, oh fuck, I love that song. Oh, sick. He's like, let's do the exact same thing for me. Give me a song. And I'm like, fuck, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> down. Like, G, um, and Sidhu and them, I think they were already kind of, or they knew each other or something, and then they did that up. Me and Tisidu did the beat and lyrics and composition in like fucking 45 minutes. Wow. And then That's sent scary. it off. He's like, I love it. And all right, boom. Is that just because you got rapport with Tisidu now? You've done a couple tracks nah, with I him? I can finish a song in three. I could probably finish a whole song in an hour. Gita Any machine. song. Doesn't matter who it is. Uh, I know I could finish a song in an hour. Yeah. It's a formula. You know what yeah. I've never understood? Maybe you guys could speak to this. So Pramish Verma, uh, awesome guy. I met him uh, in BC. Really, really nice guy. I never understood the following with his music because it's, it's like not the following with his music it's the following with him it's him personally he, okay. he, he's like a character he's a director he does whatever he wants to do and because he's him and he's built that rapport yeah people are, people appreciate him 
But or he, people fucking hate him. Either, either way, you know who he is. He started yeah. off as a director. That was his first thing. Yeah. yeah. Music videos, yeah. right? He yeah. blew up on that Ninja song. That was the first one he did. Wasn't yeah. He did yeah. yeah. He did. He did, I think oh, yeah. he did all the Ninjas. He directed it. Oh, I didn't know that. The, the thing that made him different was the fact that he was in them. Yeah. yeah. Not yeah. just behind the camera. He was a, he's yeah. an actor. He's, yeah, he was an actor. He was oh, yeah, in, he's uh, the dude that got shot in Tokhtaria. Yeah. <laughs> he's in Hostel as well. He's the dude that got shot in real life, too, right? Yeah, that's true. Not that that's something to laugh about. I'm laughing just because they play off of what he said, but that was serious. I was like, holy shit, this guy actually yeah. got shot, you know? But, um, I mean, getting back to him, the reason I was so shocked is because I was at the event where he, he was there. AK uh, yeah. was there as well. He's uh, a big fan of AK. Dude, he knows our culture he had AK on, inside yeah, out. He, had AK he knows on exactly the stage, what's happening the whole here. Deal. I was really surprised. And the funny part was we were leaving and we were, we were walking out. And he got, gets in his car and leaves. And a guy somehow got past security, ran straight through the hallway and ran past everybody and ran after the vehicle and i was like where's this guy going they're like this is what happens at all his shows people are so crazy about Pramish that they literally fan out guys fan out and they run after him. he did a show at what or orange room or whatever that orange lounge orchid 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 yeah he did a show there there were mad girls there for a punjabi singer yeah that's yeah. crazy did you? yeah I have a cousin. <laughs> I have a cousin, <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> she's my first cousin. And she's so obsessed with him. She took her kid to this meet and greet, and there was like a long lineup. She even got my nephew a shirt printed that had one of the lyrics from his song and everything. Oh, wow. Wow. That's crazy. Yo, it it is, though. That was when I was, was, I was in India. I was in India a few months ago, and. That song was huge. That one he just did. Sab Fare Jaan Ge. How, how do we feel about that? I felt like that guy was snitching on everybody. Sab Fare Jaan Ge. He's basically saying all the guys out there are going to get caught doing whatever they're doing. It, not that I'm condoning what they're doing. I'm just saying, like, what the fuck? You're, you're not trying. Like, what are you doing, Tali? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm married. I'm, snitching on everybody. <laughs> I'm just saying, for me, for me, man, like, come on. No. Anyways, Wicked. moving on. Uh, so, Jay Static, you, you've had a ton of songs. You, you're working with a whole bunch of people now, too. You were mainly with Deep John Camp, RMG, did a lot of tracks with him he did uh, a lot of tracks with Garnajla who's really picked up the baton for that crew and dude. has a lot of songs releasing now right yeah. and uh, I think everybody He's else is kind right of, now I guess everybody's just putting the the kind of uh, spotlight on him in that whole crew now to kind of push him forward or yeah. what's going on over there he's just yo he's always been sick we've n- if Garden does something, no one ever says no. We're always like, yeah, Garden, Garden. Unbelievable. And he's the nicest is. guy ever. Yeah. Like he's so fucking sweet. And how do you he's feel? Gotta do a song with him. How do you feel about him and Musiwara kind of going back and forth on some tracks? It's fine. It's Let them. Like I don't even. I think it's just uh, me personally. I think it's a huge misunderstanding, but I think it's working for both camps. I right? think often it's misunderstandings that just kind of get blown out of I'm, proportion. And I'll right? say it. I man, if they did a song together, holy fuck, Ooh. that song would be fire. But I that think, song would be beyond anything. Yeah. I think Gutten went to the next level because of this. Like he obviously doing his own thing, but when he started off, he wasn't as big as Sidhu. But now but it's like, the, yo, but you gotta admit, personally, the, lyrics wise, he had some of the biggest lyrics with some of the biggest artists. Gutten has variety. Vari- yeah, 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 What the fuck? Variety. Give, so give example. Of <laughs> variety, variety. Like the first, fucking red. I think he was sixteen or seventeen, and he his first song he ever wrote was for Jesse Gill. It was called Range. Yeah. And that's. He's at fuck. He's 16, 17. I don't even know what the fuck is going on at 16, 17. He didn't know what the fuck is going on at 16. Yeah. Okay. He's at 16, 17. What do you mean I'm 18 now? What do you mean? I know exactly what's going on. He knows what's going on. He knows what's going on. This guy put out. You know what? I felt like I met him when he was 12. That's why I feel like. you did. I did. You did. You know how I met this guy? I used to do Vajja classes. And like, I sucked. I used to be in like Vajja classes. You sucked. I sell or sock I bought <laughs> But like It was bad Because like this guy in Sinktar Used to be sitting beside me Like, <laughs> like yo Get this guy out of the room <laughs> I'm like Fucking like 18 years old Trying to play out of Vajja This guy like Fucking 10 years old Like, <laughs> <laughs> is it, like the, What is that from Like is your background uh, In your family Everybody was into that Or uh? No my dad was Like He used to write in India mm-hmm. And then But like Because of poverty And everything You can't just go you know, meet those bigger artists, right? Yeah. And back in the day, there were only limited amount of artists. You yeah. know what I mean? Now we have the internet, we have so much to promote our music with. Yeah. And so he kind of just wanted us to get into it. So we did Pangada first, yeah. and and then we just started hold singing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
You just said that. We, as in, I'm sure everyone watching knows what you're talking about. So you did Bhangra and you started off. Can you can you tell us all the team that you danced oh, for? Oh, Nasty Johnny Toddlers. Toddlers. Um, toddlers. So they have DJ's a Nasty Johnny yeah. Toddlers. Hell they yeah. had yeah. a Nasty Johnny Toddlers, and this team you? took over the internet when they performed for the first time. That was a team he and was on. And this yeah. man was Pelly Jordy we on were, that team. Well, well, like, what does Pelly Jordy mean? Like the, the first, first Jordy in red. red. The team and oh, like the, the people exactly. that yeah. the front. Meaning of what it means. This, yeah, this yeah, yeah. Thing <laughs> I'm sure a lot of our <laughs> viewers know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nazi Juani Toddlers went viral. <laughs> and there was one sing that was in the audience that was going crazy oh. by the stage. Like going crazy, that. like cheering for them, smacking the stage like, oh, bruh. Was that sing you? No, no. <laughs> <His> <laughs> dad, that, like you? Like his dad. Was that, that was your dad. His dad is the biggest supporter of Monday. Yeah, yeah. Wow. good for you. But man. Uh, that's amazing. Nachi Johnny Toddlers. And so, even at those same, same stages we used to dance on, we would ask, yo, can we start to sing? You get what I mean? And this is without learning how to sing. So, we kind of just um, did the song in Ekoja on the Ray. So, that way, my dad wanted us to prepare for that. How old were you? Six, seven years old, bro. What? Six, seven. Like, he, he sounds small. like, uh, what's his name? LeVar Ball? You know, that he's got all the sons in yeah, the yeah, NBA. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was we, training yeah. you guys. We were, right? like, yeah, like, like anything, like basketball, whatever you want to talk about. Yeah. You start as a kid. Right? That's dope, man. And so, yeah, it was always like a pack between me and my brother. So we started singing uh, from Akam Academy, Amarjit Rai. Yeah. yeah. And so started from Gurbani, obviously. And to, uh, we started learning Taddi Varan after. And so my brother yeah. on the third me on the Sarangi, and that kind of brought me into the whole folk vibe. That's wow. when you I, I met you. I think JJ. Yes, yes, yes. That's when I was born. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, and man. that's Whoa. and Shout that's when I met from him. like 10, 10, 12 yeah. years ago. The, those times, yeah. I was in middle school, I think. And then that's when I met him, and then everything went from there. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I remember that meeting. Was that the? Was it the courtroom? No, 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 no. no, no. This, this is at the but hall. But like when we full, like yeah, 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 started yeah, yeah, talking, yeah, yeah. was the courtroom. And, and and take this in, I was twelve years old, and if I wouldn't even take a twelve year old serious, and this one guy. But when you see someone static. play, it's yeah. like, yeah. yo, yeah. shit, this guy. Hundred percent. And for those of you that haven't caught on, uh, Ikwinder's brother is Sankhtar. <laughs> Can we can we play a song? Can we play? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll get there. We'll get to the song. Sangtar, I'm just gonna i I'm gonna shout you out. Can I we remember when on lines were and you would be singing <laughs> and you'd be playing Sarangi. He'd be on the thought and just like when the fuck is this done? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we used to do that divana like a Gordwari and stuff, right? Yeah. And like, we did that a lot. You, you get what I mean? So the older he got, like when he... Um, he's older than you, right? He's older than me. Uh, two years old. Uh, so when he hit puberty, he lost the voice. <laughs> I love that we're talking oh, about puberty shit. right now. Yo. Oh, so when did you he, hit puberty, he had, <laughs> <laughs> So what do, you, what do you say he had a higher pitched voice before puberty? We both, like, that yeah. divan are like, are yo, you gotta sing to high. Yeah. You get what I mean? Because the instrument itself, the sarangi, is very high pitched. Yo, you get what I mean? Puberty is career ending. <laughs> exactly, right? So so my brother's voice. a prime example of he, that. He hits puberty and I'm there singing and then he'd be like, I can't sing anymore. <laughs> On stage, oh wow! And then he was start like <laughs> giving me the fucking <laughs> elbow. Then, oh, elbow! He's like, like, check out the like shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, and we did okay. As a thought, D group, we have like four members, right? The guy who does the lecture, two singers, and one singing player. The job of a singing player is like dedicated just to the singing. Peace work, right? Yeah. And that's it. And then there's me singing the whole thing while he's at the back, just like. <laughs> so but can, can we just understand what he was probably going through? His balls are dropping. <laughs> his voice is changing. <laughs> he's got all this pressure on him that he's got to hit these high pitches. Yo, I feel bad for you, man. Yeah. <laughs> At least you held it down. The younger brother held it down. <laughs> but I had to, right? That's, yeah. that's what was it oh, That's yeah. crazy, man. Yeah. But, yo, before I forget, sorry to interrupt you, Gwinder. Yeah. Can we get a huge round of applause? We forgot to mention that DJ KSR just got married. This yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> we, we, we lost another one, right? <laughs> The KSR had a huge wedding in um, ex- in Mexico that we were all there for. It was Crazy huge, nonstop huge. party. Literally, I'm never going one, back two, to Mexico three. again. Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to go for a little while three, either. It, four, it really five. took a toll Fuck, on my I'm going body. There in like, no, I didn't go. A few weeks. Go. Yeah, it took a toll me, on it, me. It, it, it was so crazy. Me and JJ got in a fight. Like, a, like oh, an yeah. actual fight. Really? I came to the hospital yeah. as soon as I got back. <laughs> it, so. it was star-studded as well. We had Deep John Duke Arnaz out there. We had G Sidhu come and perform. And then every big DJ in the industry was out there. So absolutely Shout out Sean Bella for fucking holding it. 
Prophecy was there too. Prophecy was there too. Can we talk about Shout out to everyone that came out, man. All the guys from Yo, hold on. Can we ask JJ what happened with Sean Bella and Cardinal? So basically, we're out in Mexico, and Sean Bella, DJ, a signature by SB, was working on a track with Garnagela. Dope track. It's already out. Lock up. Um, and while we were there, it got leaked. And then that's as was far as I there? know. It's while yeah, we're there. It so while the, we're this there. is, yeah, so like, this is the weird part. The song got leaked. And I don't think everybody knew who was at the resort. So it was like, the song got leaked. And then like, three hours later, Listen, everybody's in the fucking lobby together. <laughs> and the <laughs> song's playing on a look, speaker. <laughs> looking at each other. like <laughs> Basically, both parties are like, what the fuck? One party's like, one party think you being Karnaja. Yeah. Yeah, let, let JJ tell us. I'm going to explain it. <laughs> One party thinks that the other party leaked it. The other party says, I did not leak it. You know who the two, two parties are. There's only two people involved. Yeah. Gut and, and Sean. Yeah. That's it. So, it dep- like, and, and you can't, I don't know who, well. I've heard, yeah, multi- I don't I've know. heard multiple stories from both sides. Yeah, I've heard like, so many same. little things. And so, I'd like, to me, it's like, yo, it happened. What but the fuck are you going to do? I feel like, like, not just because Sean's part of the team. Uh, the version that Sean made and the version that I play at parties is still the one, the one Sean made. Yeah. It's fucking way better than the one they released. 100%. So, the, but the uh, that yeah, I am I'm in agreement with that. The um, but the difference is like you with um, you gotta agree with both sides. Like from Gutter them side, they're like, yo, well, it's not us. What what the fuck? <laughs> like who else had it? Yeah, you, you know the one who made it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like yeah. either it got out to some people, and we don't know what happened. From Sean's side. Why would he ruin a connect like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, why would he not yeah, want to work he's with Karnajla? But he's so, still starting. And that's gotta, what he was saying, too. He's yeah, like, Yo, why and would that's I do what it? he told me. Yeah. What's the technicalities in that? Does Sean already get paid before that happens? So it kind of looks like... That he's a kid. I, 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 I it, doubt there it was, was an opportunity. I think so it, was it was an opportunity. It was an opportunity. opportunity. So yeah. Maybe there's no way he would ruin that opportunity yeah, either, right? Like, why would he want to do that? End of the day, he's cool with it. He's like, yo, it happened. He wants to move on. He's not like... He didn't seem like he had any hate. He's not blaming anybody. He's not. He's like, yo, it happened. It happened. Yo, he has a new you. song coming out with Ellie Mangert, and he's continuing yeah, to. Record. You guys being in the sides. industry, what could have happened? How could have it slipped out? If he's the producing the track, anybody. Like, if I send you a song, oh, just and I tell you it. not to send it to somebody, mm-hmm. and you're like, yo, I trust this guy, I'm gonna send it to this guy, and that just keeps going. It goes and one, two, then three, it's four, in five, our six, WhatsApp seven, group, yeah. and like it's that's a, and it's hey, gone. don't send it, don't send it, don't send True it. Enough, maybe he was excited then, about it. What happened is afterwards, before releasing it officially, he got it produced by somebody else. Yeah, they they basically they slightly changed it up a little bit, whatever. But the at the end of the day, still a dope track. Yeah. Great for Sean. He a good experience, good learning experience. Yo. And as long as everybody's Sick still track. cool with Shout it, out to he's, he's Shout not even eighteen. Well, so, Sick track. What I didn't understand is that guys these days are leaking their songs on purpose. So even if it did get leaked, what's the big deal? But they no, wanted the full if, video if, and everything. But there's it. a strategy to leaking. Okay. Right. <laughs> if you leak a song, you know what you're gonna do while you leak that song. If someone leaks a song, you're like, ah, I got to do, what the fuck am I going to do? Yeah. You panic. Okay. You, you start rushing things. Yeah. Like, let's get a video. And that's bad. Yeah. And even finishing the fucking song, you rush and you're like, yeah, yeah, it's good. Don't worry about it. Yeah. And the fucking words are wrong. Just get yeah, it. These are wrong. You've had yeah, there's a lot experience. more. Yeah. There's a lot more songs coming up from him. So like, he's, he's not yeah, concerned. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Sean. We'll Stupid have him on here. Yeah. You've had some experience with leaking a Quinder. My songs? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to talk about that? Did you just drop Diljit's name? So like it was nothing. <laughs> and we, and we, we, gotta, we gotta give a huge congratulations to that man. He is at the top of the industry right yeah, now. Yeah. Deep, uh, hands down, the biggest in the industry. Just had the first sing uh, wax, Madame Tussaud, uh, Madame Tussaud yeah, wax yeah, yeah. Uh, figure made of him yeah. with a turban. So let's all give a big round of applause for that for putting Punjabis on the map, man. Yeah. You know, you guys can people can hate on Diljit and say you know he's uh, Delhi or he's uh, Mumbai or whatever. No, you know, no, he's, he's the job before yeah. he's, he's Punjabi. Mumbai. He's making money, right? When he's, he's, when he's, 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 he came on the show now, he proved it when he did the whole MTV. Show that he did. He sang uh-huh. in Punjabi. He did all of his original Punjabi songs, and he explained them in Hindi. But he like he That's kept dope, it real. Man. He's yeah, big he's in the music now. I think. Huge, huge. He's, he's a trendsetter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's, he's the make, Punjabi Drake. Yeah, yeah. 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 We, yeah. we could probably and basically, Ikwinder did a song, two songs two. with him. Okay. Oh, yeah. So what happened was. Um, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't even go what happened. Was go like start off with like, how did Dale Jeet and Nick Winder even hook up? Yeah. <laughs> like, how do you That's talk it. to somebody at that level? Yeah, so what happened was, um, shout out to Amin Yar. He helped me a lot nice. when it came to like starting up my music, right? Um, there's a couple people doing my music here and there. I was with him, and um, and then he reaches. I used to work with Big Bird too. 
Yeah. Right. Okay. So that, you know what? Yeah. I'm gonna cut you off because I was I was trying to catch up to these guys and what they've been doing during the year. But let's get straight to the top from you because yeah. your story doesn't start at Dilji. Your story it starts, starts way back. Way yeah, before. Yeah, 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 so yeah. let's get into that and we'll we'll circle we'll back, back to what you guys have been up to this year. Yeah. So let's talk about it when there's 16 year old Tadiwara. You're covering for Sikdar because his balls just dropped. <laughs> and now now we're at a point in life where you got to take music serious. Your parent yeah. your parents are obviously fully supportive. So now it's it's go time. So I mean, obviously. Well, it, it was like um, I didn't know what I wanted to do. You get what I mean? As yeah. I was ten years old, what am I? You know, I don't know if I'm gonna do music. I, I thought I was gonna be a, become a singer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, singing that diva my whole life. You also <laughs> wanted you to be a DJ can. too. Yeah, at one point, you, like you I had to venture out to everything. Yeah. You get what I mean? So, um, who's your DJ Ostad? <laughs> Shout him out, DJ Envy. Shout out, why is he new here, man? Let two Jack. That's a stodgy right here, right? Here. Hashtag two Jack. Um, but Hashtag. yeah, so it started off with by your style, you mean that was your mentor for DJing? Yeah, d- yeah. he he's the one who took me along, so yeah. you know okay. that that made an impact. Yeah. So what, what happened was um, we wanted to. My dad wanted to do more than just singing that divana. You get what I mean? So that at that point we started. Um, like people started to know us, and so he was more into let's let's spread awareness and let's do stuff like that. So thought Divara and we did one lens roar, and then we would do like you know how people have family events like hall events. Yeah. We would do stuff like that. You okay. get what I mean? Uh, mele, we did a lot of mele like openers, mm-hmm. and um, what would you guys do there? Like do- yeah, like just like sabya type of songs. Yeah. Okay, you get what I mean? So um, guess what? My dad, my dad used to write those songs right uh-huh. and he was all about let's let's get the culture together so we started doing that at hall parties yeah so it's like a, you know um great place to do them. great place <laughs> to do it so it started with just singing and that's whack you yeah. get what i mean at a hall party so we're like yo we got a, a bands bands were too expensive still are you get what i mean getting five guys together it's not like a, we knew each other at that time yeah. right let's yeah. see frequency made so, like, yeah. exactly exactly yeah. right and and which started now <laughs> so it was it was kind of a shorthand at that time so we resorted to making music you get what i mean it started with buying tabla loose and then just like oh, my dad had bought me a phantom g6 when that's was, crazy yeah when i was in grade that's an six expensive keyboard like exactly. three four grand for that keyboard i'm just like yo buy me a keyboard he's like okay cool let's take you along in McQuaid. let's get a keyboard and he goes like Oh, but yeah, uh, it's like the most pricey one. <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay. He's optimistic. <laughs> yeah, he's he wanted to know what what comes out of it. You get what I mean? Yeah. So started off with just just double loops and like um, we got it from Future Shop Magic's music maker. <laughs> and yeah, some some next some next program. Shout out to Future Shop. <laughs> they don't exist anymore. And um, so it just started off with, uh, with that. I had his own loops and stuff. So I just started experimenting. So we went out, me and my brother, and we started singing songs, and we got a, a very good response out of that, right? So people would tell each other, you know, that blah, blah, blah. Book these guys instead of booking the point of the team. You know, they're doing something. So melee, um, picnics, everything. Anything you can think of, man. My dad. got picnic? I was, we were literally, like, dragged, like, yo, go, go, go. And, and we were like, dad, what are you doing? You get what I mean? Like, this is, this is useless to us, you know? Yo, so think about it. At the age of 12, we started making money. Yeah. You get what I mean? Like a stacked up bank account by the time I'm 18. So your dad would give you the money that you guys got from the Yeah, shows? no. For, so it's, it will start with, we never asked for money. Mm-hmm. They gave him it. You know, they're like, yo, yo, does he buy the guy a little envelope? And it's like, you know, $1,000 there. But it starts to add up, right? Oh, $1,000. <laughs> yeah, yo, we, it was, we fucking singing, we, guys. Listen, <laughs> we never asked for money. I ever. know what I'm doing but with Mike. Yeah, DJ just started Punjabi charging people, that We much. show a lot of love, whether it's a Gurdwara party, whether yeah. there's kids dancing, Gurdwara or it's a Gurdwara party. party. We always give money. How many Gurdwara parties have you been to? No, not Gurdwara parties. You, I mean, like, you, know, you know what I mean? At a Gordana when like the guys are doing Ain't nothing but a Gordana party. <laughs> All I'm right, the, I'm the Chimta dude. <laughs> Eminem does. I mean, not Eminem. Eminem M does. <laughs> M does have no yeah, religion. You got today, so. like. <laughs> All right, but continue, continue. Yeah, so, Sorry, we're so, not getting into the religious talk. Anyway. <laughs> so People the, gonna hate us even more. Yeah, exactly. So, so it starts out with that, and then we met him. Jay uh, Static. Jay Static. Jay Static. Yeah. Static. All right, and then so he. Um, I think the first time we played Tar Sarangi, but we had two performances, yeah. Tar Sarangi and one was on music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Tar Sarangi was cool, like everybody liked it. And because um, I, I met you the day of the performance, I yeah. think. So when the music came when on. Lines were? Yeah, when Lions Roy. So when the music comes on, um, like I see his face. I'm like, yo, this guy, he's digging it, you know? But <laughs> yo, so what are you doing like this? The, one of these. Yeah, one of these. I remember. It was, yeah, one of these, one of these, one of these. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yo, the, the program was so whack. Like, 
You could only hear the percussion and nothing else. I don't know if it was my speakers that I didn't know what I was doing. Mixed but by JJ. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, mixed yeah, by so, uh, like so when there's mixing. <laughs> like if, so yeah. if there's no toll, then what are you gonna do? But, yeah. <laughs> so what it happened was I well I reached out to him I'm like uh, like the same day I'm like yo this is happening what do I do about it? He gives me a couple pointers and I come back with another MP3 and it works right. But then from there on he gives me his card I call him I let him know what's up. I think the first time I met the first time I came to your studio I was like 12 years old. Yeah. Villa picked me up. Oh yeah, remember Villa picked me up. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, uh, and that was like grade 12 and I'm like sorry uh, I was 12 grade years old. Eight. I'm starstruck. Grade eight, like, you know, I'm like, yo, JJ's calling me to the studio. At that time, Jay Static and Jackie Tonjo, the firm, Hell shout yeah. out to Jackie, right? Woo, the firm, Jackie shout out to the firm. Uh, they had <laughs> dropped the Sandy Surrender song. Yeah, oh yeah, the firm's coming Shonk. back, right? And Shonk. and and that's and that was and for us. Me and my brother were like, yo, these guys are like idols of Toronto. You know, this is what we're, we're looking up for. And then the same guys invited me to his house, so that was a big thing for me. Huge. You get what I mean? Sick. Huge, right? Oh, and then God, yeah. Hey, and and who's yeah. daddy? <laughs> <laughs> who's daddy? My contact is J Static Father. <laughs> yeah. That's an infamous studio. A lot of big hits were made there. The whole uh, Zoo Babies album was yeah. made. What, there. what, what was, was it? Thirty three ten studios. What was it? No, Eleven thirty. Eleven thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Speed close, of sound, close. buddy. One thousand one hundred thirty yeah, feet yeah, per yeah, second. He's gonna, he's gonna know it. Yeah, buddy. So, Miami. <laughs> yeah, buddy. So Gwinder, from, from meeting J Static and getting in the studio, what are you learning now when you're with him? Are you making music with him, or are you showing him your music, oh. or like what's going on there? I I wasn't um, necessarily learning how to make music, but just arranging, programming, like the the technology side of it. Okay. I was still using the same software and everything. I didn't. I didn't. Making music is one thing. Yeah. Arrangements. Yeah. Now I'm sure you can attest to this. Yeah. Ar- arrangements used to take fucking forever. forever. You're like. So I have no I could, idea what you guys talking about. What is an arrangement? Like if during the verse of a song. Mm-hmm. You can have one little piece of music playing. Then during the course, you need everything to start playing because yeah. you you want the course to sound as okay. as excitement but, but, exciting as so possible. You're, you're put it this way: you're arranging the lyrics, basically. Yeah. The, uh-huh. It's the like the timeline of the layers. song. Yeah. yeah, when the music exactly, comes right? in. Uh, put when. it like this: like simply thoughties, right? Um, when you're singing, the sarangi can't be overpowering, yeah. so it's just at the back. Yeah. <laughs> you get what so. I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and the thought is like almost silent. You get mm-hmm. what I mean? So how much power is there? During like the starting of the verse until the end of the verse, so that's oh, arranging. Okay, okay. So, Do a dot sound. So, <laughs> <laughs> so some, somebody who somebody who wouldn't know how to arrange music would leave all those levels too high, and it would overpower the lyrics. I'll tell you right now, from you learned you learned a little bit from me. Yeah, maybe arranging. I learned everything from Randy. When it came mm. to arranging, shout out to Randy. Randy, Randy yeah. that's I, re- I remember that seeing that's Randy Bastard. arrange shit like <laughs> he's like. Like, he just had one massive loop, and he would just delete shit. And I'm like, that's oh. it, that's it, that's it, that's delete. it. Delete. And it. then, like, you see the arrangement, and you just see, like, everything just looks like this. Yeah. Which is really nice, because it goes low when it's the verse, high when it's the chorus, uh-huh. low when it's the verse. And everything just made sense. Yeah. And then I remember Randy, and I think me and Dee both learned from Randy when it came to arrangements. Mm-hmm. Like, Randy was fast as fuck. Yeah. Right. And even from that, it was so hard. I'm juggling it. That's we fucking spent mad that. time on arrangements. Juggy. Like, what was your relationship with Juggy and your guys? We just music? talked about this last week. We have no idea how we met. Uh-huh. Like, we cannot. <laughs> probably, Bangra. maybe Bangra. drunk. Bangra, oh. one of the two. We don't know. We have no clue how we met. Oh, oh, fun fact. Fun fact. When I think we, my first dole set, like dancing. He played the toe, Jackie Dungeon. Wow. And wow. yo, what was that? 2006, was it? Not to the Giovanni. Two th- uh, Ground Shaker 2008, I think. Ground Shaker 2. Do we have a mic for that? No, no, no. Do we have a mic for that side of the Nah. Ground yeah. yeah. Shaker 2, were you guys tied with Charlie Pajal? Nah, man. It was just. Yeah, we need to get a mic on that side of the room. So basically, okay, Juggy's so saying that, that they Ground threw Shaker Ground Shaker, the, that was an event, right? Ground 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 yes, yes, yes. And we yeah. were the. Special event. So yeah, okay, it was a okay, special okay, event, okay. Ground Shaker, that Juggy and them threw, and that's yes. where you were performing, and he was playing the dole. Playing the dole, yeah. That's that super was where Shaka Job won first. Crazy. Event. So yeah, I, I mean, at that time, you're learning how to uh, l- arrange music. You guys are kind of collaborating. Well, it well, was more like you can't learn to make music okay. at all. Listen, like if if I know how to play the sarangi, that's all I know how to know. Mm-hmm. Like that's all I know. You can't you can't just um, you got to learn everything else like yourself. You can't just ask. 
But need yo need tell me how to put a tool on this song. Tell me yeah, how to put. I don't. That's all your. That's all your mind. You know, if I want to put a tool on my song, I'll put it. If I don't want to, mm-hmm. you get what I mean. Okay. What, whatever. So he was more of the. I would take the beats to him. Uh-huh. Yo, this doesn't sound good like that. Maybe you should do it like that. Maybe your sh- your kicks should be here. Maybe your snip. So he cleaned up the process. Okay. Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah. Where where it started from a hundred layers, you know, still sounds empty. Would come down to like twenty five layers and sound the heaviest. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. So he he taught me to clean up shit you know like not just oh keep adding 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 use less which sounds more you get what i mean less is more jabby mc is the best at that yeah Yeah. exactly right i I, i'm yet to learn or perfect that yeah i still add a lot but just bring it all down but like like i said you can't learn to make music so he turned he let me know how to i'm like Self arranged stuff, you get what I mean? Like, not asking yeah. other people, yeah. call the singer up, yo, how do you want to do it? Yeah. You know, more so depend on myself, like, yo, Kundra, I'm gonna make this project sound good, not no one else. You get yeah. what I mean? You know, yeah. you made it when you start talking about yourself in third person, like, yo, like, <laughs> we're just about to kill this beat right now. Yeah. Yo, there, there's also two parts to this, because, yeah. like, to be, I'm not a musician, but I can produce. Uh-huh. He's a musician, and to find a musician who can also produce is fucking hard, because. To be a musician and make music, usually, it, it turns out bad. I think they usually suck. Yeah. The best musicians are not good producers. Prophecy's yeah. a good one. No, no, I'm talking. He's like an artist. I'm he's talking. He's an artist. Oh, okay. I'm talking like musician, like a play. Oh, play. I, okay. I play everything. Type of thing. Like this, I could go, go and play. Like, he could be like a session player if you wanted yeah. to. Yeah. We're not session players. We yeah. can barely fucking play with the fucking. I vocal. could play three finger chords. Oh, he's maybe that guy you one. would call into the studio and be like, "Play me this." <laughs> play, and yeah, 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 record exactly, it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, like, like you. he'll put on a song in two seconds. I know the whole, th- whole yeah. song. Yeah. Right. That's so uh, the one of the biggest things, and he's the one who mentioned it. And shout out to Jisraz Lelna who mentioned shout it. Shout out to Jisraz. And he helped Shraj. a lot. He he's dope packs all of that when I was tra- starting out. You yeah. get what I mean? And so they acknowledge the fact that um, with. Just hearing the lyrics or hearing someone sing, I know the track already. Mm-hmm. So I was, I was, I instead of like taking time to perform on the track or whatever it was, with these guys, I got to speed the process up a lot. You get what I mean? The moment I heard us, because I would sit there and see these guys make songs. You get what I mean? Him, I wanted to start a couple of times, but with I was in the studio with him all the time. And it was just making a song, making a song, making a song. And I would sit there, learn what's he deleting, what's he not deleting, what's he keeping, like what's he messing up. Yeah. And so then I just made the process much faster. It was like I would hear, hear a, a singer sing, like, bro, I got my, I got, I got, my, which is every case. And then I'm like, all right, boom, five minutes later, I don't know what it sounds like. Yeah. You get what I mean? So I didn't have to work much on, should I try this, should I try that? I was like, I got on the keyboard, boom, boom, boom. I knew if a stroll was coming on or not, and that's it. And you're, this is 2012. This is, time you're yeah, like learning 2012, you're 2013. How old at this time? 12. You're 12 2000. Years old. I'm 2000. Oh, 2000. Easy right. math. Wow, you're born in 2000. I didn't know kids were born in 2000. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy, man. Right. 12 years old, you got this guy Wait, in the studio. Did you just you. say you didn't know people were born in 2000? <laughs> no, it always sounds weird to me when somebody's born. Like when they say they're born in 2004, it just sounds weird. Yeah. Me, right? yeah. I always think I was really to 19 stuff, yeah. Huh? Who are you talking to in 2004? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Uncle Terry. Uncle Terry. <laughs> I, I can have a kid from 2004, man. Get out of here. But um, yeah, so, I'm, so to me, the most surprising part, and to my parents, is. Like, for them, it was, like, getting us to that point. Like, do I want to do it now or do yeah. I not want to do it? And then all, it was always, like, um, first first started with you, and then it came to DJ Envy when he started taking me out on gigs and stuff. Yeah. And, like, just, just helping him out. Mm-hmm. And then, because he saw that potential, like, this guy knows his music, let's take him out. And um, so I started going out with him to uh, gigs and stuff, and I learned how to DJ. Now, that all comes in place. You get what I mean? I learned about my speed I learned about my um, that's a big thing. Ex- exactly right so from there I got to what do you I, mean by speed speed of the track yeah yeah, yeah. like like knowing what works uh-huh. cause like like dance floor bangers aren't like just any bangers yeah you get what I mean? There's speeds to everything. Like, yeah. Pongara songs are like... 90. I, like, like, no, no, 80, 84, 84, yeah, yeah. 88, like, 90, 90, 96. 90, 90, 96. 94. Yo, and the biggest, the best. The biggest thing was going with him to see what's bumping and what's not yeah. helped me a lot. You get what I mean? You can't just make a song and like... It, there's a formula to everything. Yeah. So you're saying that you can't just... If you could feel a crowd, you can't just drop any track? It's got to be certain it's, tracks? Exactly. Right? Uh-huh. And no, Yo. I, I, 
every DJ plays the same fucking music at every party. It's yeah. how you fucking play the music. It's yeah. how you, yeah. But but there's not, not every song what that's released. What does that have to do with anything? Like, does it even help <laughs> explain anything? Yeah, you're no, saying, well, no, what, no, what, what I, I'm saying is, like, let's say you want to want to add a track into your set that no, hasn't no, no, been no. released yet. That's is it is it difficult to do that, or you have to do it the right way? I mean, you could tr- you can add any track. Like, I if it's a if it's a banger track, if mm-hmm. you play it like first in the night, middle of the night, it's still gonna bang. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, but that's what I mean. Like, what are the what are right. the songs depends um, and notes? Uh, like, <laughs> I, I used to watch like YouTube videos, and then that all came in effect when I used to go um, DJ with Envy. Was um, there's certain notes that please people's ears? There's certain uh, uh, tempos that are like D, d- yeah, D, D Best. sharp, E. That's that's what I play with. Yeah. D and E. Yeah, D and E. That's fucking what, notes in the you world. Know, those they get ha- people moving. Yeah, they just feel good. What's yeah, that yeah. in Camelot? <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know what the hell that is. Hey, can, <laughs> could you relate that uh, those eight. notes to a sound that we would be able to know, or like uh, like where would you relate a D yeah, sharp to? Fine, man. We'll I don't even know right who can who can hold their note the longest? Right here. No, no, he's talking about what songs <laughs> can we relate to, man. <laughs> like you're saying, like if if I'm uh, so a song uh-huh. is usually made not usually it's always made in a key and a scale. Yeah. Right. So D can be made. That's <laughs> what is that? That's D. That's D. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know if it was D or E or D sharp. It was D. Okay. Why does it matter? Uh, Why does it? This has nothing to do with what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah. This 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 like, okay, I, was, I just sorry. wanted the viewers to know okay. what you were talking about. So. If it's if a song is made in any sort of key mm-hmm. and any scale, all we're saying is it sounds you can do a lot with whatever key and scale it's made in. There's songs uh, you know, fucking turn that calm, shit off. Calm, man. Oh, hold yeah. on. Let's backtrack and <laughs> where do we lose track? No, we're good. We're, 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 we're at the why Yo, DJ I'm just making me. sure people yeah. know what we're talking about. D is a note and E is a note, so I played D for you. Okay. <laughs> so now in it does, it's, I don't even know where I'm going with this. Yeah, you're basically saying Wh- that uh, with every every song, there's a key and a scale, right? Yeah. And so basically, certain songs just sound better, and certain songs just don't sound as good in certain keys. That's why certain songs, you know, how certain songs sound happy to you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They're made in certain scales, and then the <laughs> other song is made, uh, and it sounds a little bit more dark or something. It sounds like you were thinking about you. it a little bit. Yeah. For example, difference minor scale. Yeah. If you're looking at like. Um, What's a major scale song? Uh, like Diamond. Uh, what's that? Diamond minor? No, it's minor too. Is different. You know, it's major a, is like a... That Mon like Party, a, has, it's, not, it's not like the same yeah. type of song, but Mon Party uh, by uh, B. Brock mm-hmm. is a major scale. No, yeah, it is. it's yeah. a minor. Yeah, it's a minor scale. Most Bhangra songs are minor. Yeah, yeah. Look, 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 it's just, it's just, science is, uh, sorry, music is science. Literally, right? It's like, there's, there's stats. It's like, these things work and these yeah. things generally don't work. Mm-hmm. If I take... Who's a high high pitch singer? If I take Kaka Penny and go like, yo, sing down here, you know, where, where you've yeah. never sang, and I'm going to make it a Pangada Banger. It doesn't work. No. You get what I mean? He has, his own, he has his own range. He has his own skill. He's going to work around that. You get what I mean? Okay. And so his songs worked. You Always. get what I mean? But I've seen most out. of my songs that worked were all on E. Nine, right? eight, a difference, Yeah, like- Baby... Diamond E, you get what I mean? No, I get, I get what you're saying. So there's a feel to it. And while yeah. you're out on the road with Envy, you're learning basically certain songs that have that scale or that key exactly. are working to but, feel the crowd. But going back, it was like learning all of that beforehand made everything easier. You get what I mean? Like they're talking yeah, about those are like the fundamentals. scales, yeah. rugs. Like I knew that beforehand. It, it didn't sound like it's going to go into Pangra. How does Gurbani go into Pangra? It doesn't. You get what I mean? But... Dude, uh, yeah. how, you might be onto people, something. How many people we've had come into the, on this show and that we've spoken to that started with Gurbani and then went to music? Everybody because Gurbani is we we most people like read it. You get what I mean? But Gurbani is supposed to be you know uh, sung, sung, yeah, right. And so it's literally all every before every like um, uh, stanza of, of the Barney or whatever you want to call it. Stanza. I think that's Sick. what they call it. Don't no, they? No, it's good. It um, sounds. Yeah. Um, it's, it tells you what, what rock you're supposed to sing it. Yeah. Really? <coughs> Some of the rocks we don't know like what they are, yeah. but there's there's like there's a, there's like the vague ones that most of the money is made okay. in, right? Yeah. And so that so that me knowing that helped me um in the future that when I'm working with people like JJ, I was I was in fact it was like a team effort then. Oh, I man. was I was doing the, the chords. I learned off this guy. Yeah. I didn't know what the, I didn't know the body, I didn't know Pavi, I didn't know <laughs> shit. Yeah. Which are rocks. I just knew like all right, here's a minor scale, here's a major scale. That's pretty much all I know, yeah. if I even knew that. And I knew the key of a song. This guy's like, nah, nah, it's got to be played like this. And it goes back like this. I'm like, huh? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? And you're and able I, to do that on a harmonium. Yeah, yeah so, okay, so the, the people that are listening, like, there's two, 
there's two major ones. There's Darbari, there's Parvi. Yeah. You get what I mean? Parvi are the more either dark ones or like the gangster ones. Gangster you get what I mean? Like this is the yeah. shit. Oh, yeah. the Sangdar ones. The Sangdar ones, <laughs> ones. yeah. Darbari is like no, cool. happy. Could be sad too. It's right? sad. It's but mostly too. happy. Like, yeah. you know, these are the these are the top Bangla bangers. Yeah. Diamond. Diamond. So, if you bomb set in you throw the dark ones. Parvi. Parvi. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, just so we know. So, yeah, so um, going to Envy again, it was just me learning the the mahal like if i'm gonna be part of this entertainment industry i gotta know what works and what not works because yeah. the what everyone told me was yo if your song doesn't play on the dj you're not hit you know yeah. you're not you're yeah. nothing you get what i mean because you can be making songs your whole life then. Mm-hmm. and um so what i did i'm like dad yo like get me an sz <laughs> give me an sz give me like Four JBL speakers. <laughs> oh, yo, we are using oh, the Dad's working that overtime shit. over here. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's in our storage right now. Your yeah. So was, I'm like, yo, Dad, get me an S Ed right now. All right, get me four speakers. Got it from. I think JBLs weren't even sold here. They were sold in the states. Well, now they're so, sold there. I don't know, JBL but sold. they weren't just stock. Like nobody had regular stock in JBL That's because Lago yeah. McQuaid's owned by Yorkville, so they only supply Yorkville. Yeah. So they're, if you yeah. wanted to get JBLs, you, you to have to, to find a, you had to go to find a JBL supplier, which there are not many of. Yeah, I got no, there's Sweetwater. Lots of, you have to go to Sweetwater. Go to you don't know Chris. That's why. Shout out to Chris. <laughs> Shout out to the <laughs> Chinese guy, Chris. To why, why did you want JBL over? Yo, I I was like, yo, the money. There's money just to use. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> out of all the <laughs> like, money that you guys made, like yo, my look, look, I knew my dad too. He never, like I told you, I went to get a keyboard, and he ends up getting the best keyboard there is. Yeah, he didn't want me to uh, half-ass anything. Okay, you if get what I mean? It, like, if, if you're gonna do it, if you're gonna take it seriously, like take everything do else properly. Seriously. How much do you spend on your equipment? Yo, I love my fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars, bro. And I haven't spent that much on my equipment in ten years. So, uh, like, when there are a lot of kids that are listening that want to get into production music, it, it, was that necessary for you to spend all that money for DJing? Yeah, no, for just in general to get into the the line of music look. That you're it's, in. it's how you want to take it. No, it's not necessary. Like I haven't spent twenty grand in one day. I know people that that go, like, "Yeah, I'm gonna open up a studio, twenty grand in one, fifty grand in one day." They can't produce for shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? So over time, like I had the shittiest speakers but the best piano. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get what I but mean? But he's never changed his piano. He has the same fucking piano sitting there. But mm-hmm. I've learned more and more. First it was just, you know, uh, learning. Uh, there was like strings and stuff on the normal stock stuff. And then I went to the pads and then I started using that stuff. Then I go into MIDI. Like the more I learned from it, you know, the more I used it. Mm-hmm. At that time, it seemed stupid too. You get what I mean? It's like, why is this great? Even the the cashier was like, "Why are you getting? Why are you getting him?" Bro, <laughs> people that are touring the world have the Phantom G6. That, yeah. That's like the it's, it's not made anymore. Phantom, like, that's the keyboard. keyboard, yeah, the oh. keyboard people, people like, like die for that on wow. tour. Like it's expensive. Like, there's fun. certain keyboards. And that's the god of keyboards. You're yeah. trying to get which one is the Phantom G6? Yeah. The other one's the Roland X32. Yeah, 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 Those two yeah. are like the iconic Randy has DC that one. ass keyboards, yeah, Randy especially yeah, Randy for Randy's dubbing music too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he, the, like like both time. these keyboards they're really are, hard to get. Yeah, as well. because you can put sounds into them, uh-huh. and then they automatically pitches itself up and pitches itself down, yeah. and it sounds dizzy as fuck. <laughs> and so it sounds for so Indian sick. music specifically, those are really big. Those are yeah, like people people that are touring like Babuman, Dilji. If they're playing on a keyboard, it's a Phantom G6. Oh wow, yeah. Okay. But um, yeah, so then um, got the DJ and stuff. We started doing family gigs and just you know here and there. I, I couldn't be here with these guys because I was a liability. <laughs> I was too young. I was yeah, pretty man. stupid too. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and then uh, so from there it just became like yo, um, I'm meeting. I like I was meeting a lot of people. You get what I mean? How yeah. are you meeting all these people? Through DJing and whatnot, like people are saying, "Yo, you DJ good." And then people that knew me as a musician too, they're like, "Yo, you, you know, why don't you do more than this?" You get yeah. what I mean? Uh-huh. But it was always like at the side, I'd be making mixes and stuff, doing doing everything I can to perfect the art. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? And are you focusing on school at this time, or is your mind only on music? So <laughs> I went to two years for <laughs> IB. Okay. I was an IB student. What's IB? International In- business? International back... I don't even know how to pronounce it and I was there. Oh, shit. <laughs> is it like ESL smart kids. from our it's smart kids. It's like It's like it's like, it's like advanced program type of thing. You get what I mean? So it's good or bad? It's good. Okay. Well, it's good. It's good. I, I, no, I don't know. There's I like certain schools. Like, like I didn't Kurt, finish it. Like, <laughs> like Turner Friend is one of those schools where like you get like, like uh, these yeah, compu- yeah, yeah, the computer yeah, yeah, yeah. kids. Okay, they bring okay. a computer to school. I don't know. That's like when I was in school. They used to bring like a laptop to school to do the There's school like work. certain schools. And we had like no certain school, not every school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did that grade 9 and 10. That's when I was really focused into school. I'm like, yo, I don't feel like entertainment is going to take me too far. You weren't that confident. I wasn't that confident, mm-hmm. right? And um, yeah, so, so grade 12 to like, sorry, um, from the year 12 for me till like high school, I was like full on like, Jay, let's do you know, let me come over. Let me do this. Let me come. Over. And he got. He he was eventually getting busier too. So that I lost interest because 
we couldn't spend time and I was always at school. Yeah. You get what I mean? And then what happened in grade 11 was I went to India with Pravesh and uh, JJ. Remember? Oh, yeah. Jay Jati, Static. Jati, 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 Jati. I came later though, right? No? You came oh, a day JJ later. came yeah. like oh, okay, a few okay. days later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, a day later. So we go to India and, and we, um, for, for out of nowhere, uh, JJ calls me and goes like, yo, Pra-, um, I have a guy, Pravesh. Um, we, he needs, we need to do music together. Let's get, let's get in the studio. So I'm like, cool, let's get to the studio. And, um, he's there, he's singing, we're all doing something. And then we're like, yo, let's go to India, <laughs> you know? Oh, you guys were here talking about Here, 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 here. Um, at, and this wasn't built. None of this was here, nah, right? Nah. Right now, this will be, this is at your house. Yeah. And, um, we're like, let's go to India. And I was, I was a kid. I was in grade 11. Yeah. So. He You're gets like a ticket. You're like 14, 15 years old, something like that. Si- side note, Pervasive oh, okay. spin yeah, yeah. yeah. spin yeah. 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 like 17 yeah. years old. In 17, something like that. Yeah, 16. Yeah. I was 16 ish, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I remember I had to get like a, a, a letter and everything because I'm not allowed to fly alone. Oh, a so parent, a parent, pre- like a, what's it called? A, <laughs> and spin was your parental guide. No, 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 no. JJ was. JJ was. Like a permission. JJ was. I I met Pervasive I'm father, brother. Yeah, yeah. Remember that. Don't forget that. Yeah, a lot of fathers. Dad one, dad two. That's father to of sons, eh? Man, man. <laughs> so you, you get permission Probably to go to I don't India. Know. Exactly. <laughs> and he's, he, that's and, un, that's yo, un, we're, okay. we're at the airport and he calls me, yo, I can't come. I'm like, what? <laughs> yo, him. Oh my God. He calls me, he goes like, I can't come. I'm, I'm like, I'm at the airport. I'm scared. You get what I mean? I'm yo, alone. You left your kid? <laughs> what the fuck? And yeah, I'm going to India. Oh, I'm the deep end. Father not, of the year. No, JJ the deep end. <laughs> <laughs> Bad inside joke right there. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And so we get to India and we like it, it was it was an experience yeah. for a week two weeks week two weeks right? three weeks for you it was pretty oh, long actually, but not for us uh, i had school in the way so i couldn't really yeah. do much so it was an experience that like, that like meeting these people like not even artists we met probably no artists but we met like musicians studio like got sound engineers and stuff like that went to a couple clubs and stuff like yeah. that this so, is all in chandigarh uh, uh, chandigarh yeah. yeah yeah and then so i'm like yo this is this is cool, you know. Like this is not just. You hadn't been back to India for a while, right? At that point, mm, like f- three. Well, three for years. you, a while. Yeah, Fucking but still, like going yeah. with family is. Different. Yeah, going with family I mean, is you different. Came with yeah, us yeah, as yeah. Friends. I came, so it was, it was, it was, it was it's like it was a different experience, right? Yeah. We went to go shoot his videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Spin Sing on the track and Jyoti Delon yeah. on the vocals, right? So it was, that it just seems so cool. Like you want to be part of it, right? Yeah. You don't want to just. You left on the side. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And so I'm like, yo, let's take this more seriously. I come back and uh, I'm like, yo, forget school now. Let's just. <laughs> <laughs> your, dad, your dad's like, fuck it, throw the papers out. Move it on. No, t- my dad thinks still today I have the best marks. Oh <laughs> shit. No, right? he knows this guy. Photoshopping his report. No, no, no. The way she used to do that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. The way she used to do what? If you need anything Photoshop, the way she's your guy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so, yeah, so, man, long story short, it was an experience that made me, like, want it more. Yeah. And so I'm like, yo, let's, let's, let's actually do it. So then, um,. And we we had a a panamaja carlea like that time, and so we uh, like we just dedicated one room into a studio instead of like nice like studio monitors. First I had those mem- the Behringers, remember that? Oh my god! Right, it's like the half of them were like most of it was broken, and then I had those Yorkville speakers, <laughs> the big the studio oh like god. the PA monitors, uh-huh. right? And but he had the sickest fucking desk. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. sickest <laughs> desk. For the longest time, he's like, "Yo, give me the desk, give me the desk." I'm like, "I'm not gonna give you the desk." You <laughs> he's got like literally the studio desk. Yeah, and he's got Which fucking one hundred dollar monitor <laughs> sitting on top of if, it. If you guys were to say the one most important thing in the studio, what would it be? Monitors, monitors. The person 100%. sitting at it. <laughs> in terms of equipment, do you buy the prison? Like, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna drop a game for just. <laughs> you, you can own JJ for three small payments. <laughs> All right, so now you, you five dollars. You got your studio set up in the house. You're yeah, taking this seriously. What is your first big track that drops? We were in India when your first big track dropped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. oh so that's that, that's the, the whole story. Hold on, hold on. That's the whole story. Yeah, let's get to that. So, um, when. Um, Yo, when yeah, th- this is Envy. Uh, this is when I'm still with Envy. I'm DJing. I'm doing stuff like that. Well, can I ask you? Does Envy try to sign you at any point? No, 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 no. Envy's not like you know. No, 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 no,
<laughs> Revenge tour. <laughs> so, <laughs> off the record. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. So, um, what happened was, uh, JJ was DJing at, um, what's his name? Garv's event. Who's? Garv's. Sim- uh, Garv. Uh, when he dressed up like a Pangra guy. Garv Sharma. His oh, wedding. Oh, his wedding. His wedding. Remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were DJing there, and yeah. he was going to do an entrance, and he wanted to do like a folk entrance. Yeah. And he calls me, he goes like, yo, um, I need you to do uh, the Serengi. I never yeah. said no to him, so I'm like, let's go. Um, so I did Serengi, uh, Ramen on the Toll, and uh, he was singing. That was pretty legit. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, yeah. I don't know if you guys caught yeah, that, that video. Bro, bro. Mad, mad respect yeah. to JJ. You hear that? He's Fire. like, I never said no to JJ yeah. before. But um, right? uh, the Amrinder Gill song, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and there's a whole live performance video. Exactly. That shit went and viral. he comes in and everything. So it's pretty cool. And Sonny sees me there, Sonny Malton. Yeah. And um, he then tells J- uh, uh, Big Bird that, yo, there's this, uh, they needed a song, like, peace break and stuff. So they Big Bird uh, DMs me, and that, again, that's a big, big deal. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, like I said, I, I always chased opportunities. You know, yeah, yeah. never like yo. Shout give out me Big Bird and Sunny Malton. Yeah, 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 man, yeah. they're doing yeah. big yeah. things right now. You big know, so uh, and so I go to the studio and like we're just chopping up shit like that. And he goes like, yo, I want you to, uh, I want to introduce you to Amin Yad, right? And <laughs> so <laughs> who, who said that to you? Uh, big Bird. Okay. Because they were working alongside together. Okay. Nothing had come out, but they were working together. So um, I get to meet Amin Yar through um, uh, Amin Yar was signed to Cali K West at that time. Cali K West. I said the same. Yeah. I don't know. I just call him Cali. So Yo, I, I said I said Cali K West. Cali West. Cali West. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So I, I meet Cali West through that, those times, and he, we got pretty close. Like, you know, calling each other every day, letting each other know what's up, because. Um, Whatever the opportunities are there, so you, you want to go yeah, for them, yeah, right? And building, I knew yeah. he knew people, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And so one day he goes, "Hey, yo, send me a bunch of like cool, like new shit, cool shit." Kelly Quest, Kelly West, right? Yeah. Kelly Quest, Kelly <laughs> Quest. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, "Like, send me some. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be with someone, picking them up from the airport." And uh, I'm like, "Cool." So I'm gonna send some stuff. And this is long past, uh, like, uh, knowing Big Bird and everybody. So we're all, we're all like... You're already working. We're, no, we were over with it, everything. Like, like it, it was it was passed on that phase as well. So, hold on. You work with Big Bird. And then I remember you had the brown boy shirt on. Yeah. You got the grill. P- you had the it, it, there was a period yeah. where... Like, no, yeah, like, yeah. I, bad respect to brown boys, uh-huh. right? But I didn't fit in as well. Like, I didn't fit in as well as their whole crew was. You weren't yeah, brown enough? You were a gangster. I wasn't brown enough. <laughs> 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 but you're, you're from Rexdale. That doesn't make me a gangster. <laughs> like, yo, you're putting me on the spot now. <laughs> no, but honestly speaking, it just didn't vibe? Or what was the deal? No, the music was always there. Music was dope. You get what I mean? But as 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 an image, there was something else. And I, I wasn't like able to pursue what they wanted. Did you meet okay. them at our office? No. I remember one time you guys met and we were here. Here? Um, I'm not sure about I that. Don't know. Yeah, okay, so anyways. Did you guys end up making tracks together that released? Yeah, we what made What song like, did you make? Uh, the the Amman Yar song. Um, Mirza? Mirza something? Uh, Karnajar wrote that. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Karnajar wrote that. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> That's, that is. It's, it's weird, bro. <laughs> Why is that funny? Karnajar said the Musi Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Out for yeah. yeah, but shout out to him and Yad that he 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 wasn't like afraid of giving me those links. Like he wasn't like stopping me from. Yeah, he's anyway. a cool dude. I'm in yard, man. He's a wicked, Where's wicked, wicked, wicked the vocalist. He's from Washington. Um, Washington. Washington yeah. Okay. So going past that, so he hits me up and goes like, "Yo, I have I have someone coming. Like, send me some beats." I'm like, "Cool." Like, this is Cali Quest. Cali Quest. Yeah. yeah. So I sent him a couple of like new stuff. You know, like uh, what was bumping at that time. Not Pangrado. You know, like some new vibes. Uh, we we knew each other. As me and Spence saying we should do stuff together. That would like he would just bring me SoundCloud links. And I'm like copy. <laughs> 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 right? so, so I sent them to him. Yeah, well, what hey, do you copy mean by saying. copy? Like you would hear something cool on SoundCloud. Yeah, I'd be like, all right, poo. like that. That's that, that's the vibe. Let's let's make something around that. Okay, you know okay, what I mean. Yeah. So we just make like, recreate it. Do something. Stupid Inspiration with it. is a better Inspir- word. Yeah, yeah. And um, what happens is he calls me. Goes, hey, yo, do Drink you have sink. a visa? I'm like, to what? I'm like, my passport's expired too. So I'm like, well, what, what do I have a visa for? <laughs> to what? <laughs> so like, and he goes like, uh, India. I'm like, I, I can get it made, I guess, right? You know, like, the, um, he's like, okay, um, let me know how fast you can do that. I, can't, I tell my dad, I'm like, yo, this blah, blah, blah happened. Um, they asked me if I have a visa, let's do that, blah, blah, blah. So there was, uh, the, the th- uh, uh, there was um, what I, uh, that time, I, I just kind of got a feeling. I'm like, if someone's going to fly me out in two weeks, there's only one person that can do that. You really? Yeah. 
Okay. Dilji, like uh, no, <laughs> no one's gonna. Two Wait, weeks, did you two know days. Kelly Quest was already fucking with Dilji? Yeah, everybody knew that. Everybody knew that. They were already in. They They did. If Dilji comes to the states, it's Kelly Quest. Yeah, yeah. So it was like I'm like, yo, there's only one person that can do that. Boom, like you know, this is our way in, right? And so. Oh, yo, I'm missing so many things, bro. No. I knew Beats yeah, take Boutique. Your time, take your time. We got yo, time, JT, shout out to JT Jatinder. Jets. One this year. No, 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 no. I went no, 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 high different. school with Jets. Jets. Is that the same one? Space yeah, yeah, Jets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the same one? Yeah. yeah. Space Jets. So we met JT, and he's a pretty cool guy. He's the reason I met Granapolar yeah. and uh, Beats Boutique. Yeah. Right. This is the same trip that you went. No, no, no. no this no, is here. here. This is here. This is forgetting things he's saying. This is the year before Diamond came out. So 2016. So let's talk 2017. about... 2017. Let, let me just drop that. So Ganam Puller Diamond, you made it. Yes. The That's whole track. The whole track. And yeah. um, Amrit Mon Difference, you made it. Yeah, but we're, we're getting not, to We're not there yet. That's not Okay. So how about Gary Sunday? Yeah, baby. Spoiler That's alert. <laughs> 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 so 2017, I meet... Um, uh, what, uh, so I meet JT. We got really close. We did a couple songs with Veeth Baljeet. And um, they didn't end up coming out. Um, they did, but they didn't end. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What does that mean? Leaked. Leaked, oh, okay. leaked right? Okay. Um, so same situation. We have no idea till date who leaked them, what happened. They Spence. came out, right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you, did you care at that time? No, no. Listen, listen I, knew, I knew I wasn't doing it. Yeah. I knew I wasn't doing it. No one's yeah. pointing fingers at me, so I'm like, I bet. I'm good, right? Yeah. I, I kept good relations always. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? So it, that happens, and... Um, uh, so uh, do the Granapola thing we're supposed to meet Rajveer Javanda who had Gangani out at that time right Granapola was nobody Yeah, he was Ikwinder 2.0 or I was Granam 2.0 like yeah. that's how we were both you guys are both at the same level at the same level yeah. right and um, he also came from India with the crew uh, Where, the Just Record crew where's he from originally Granapola India uh, uh, Farid Gord or something oh, like that. Oh, he's from out there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so um, he comes and we're like, yo, Roger Jones is coming to the studio. Me and Spencer are here. Here, here. Yeah. The studio was being built, yeah. right? And no equipment, nothing. We're like, yo, Roger Jones is coming. We're like, you know, flaunting. <laughs> right? I and remember hearing about it. Yeah, you remember hearing about it. And, <laughs> and yo, who jealous? comes in? I was like, yeah, I was like, shit. Yeah. Roger, <laughs> <laughs> and who comes in? Granapola. We're like <laughs> into the studio, right? This here. wasn't the agreement, you know. Like, what's happening right now? You know, yeah. we're getting punked right now. Oh, because you guys are expecting somebody bigger. Yeah, we're expecting. Okay. He's like, oh, bro, oh, I fried the song. I'm like, all right, whatever. You know what? Let's let's understand that too. So Granapola, we did a song called Wrangler in the studio with Spencer. I remember that. You remember that? Yeah. You remember that? And um, Diamond, Diamond wasn't done in the studio. I met him the next day and he gave me vocals over his email. Um, the uh, the owner just record uh, just Veerpa. He goes like, "Do our vocal la? Idhar aap kuch karna hai na?" I'm like, "Cool." He's like, "Menu ek din chahiye da." I'm like, "I'm good at that." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "I'm good at that." Bele so, bate ya. I'm a bele bate ya, right? <laughs> so the next day, uh, he's like, uh, "This whole town." I reach and I show the sound. They're like, "Yo, this kid's something, you know." There's, He's good. You yeah. know what I mean? And well, you're going too quick, though. So Diamond was a huge fucking track. Yeah, but none of us knew that. I'm talking about making it. Talking about about making it. it. He's, ta he's talking about making yeah. Diamond. So, so I, you, you get the vocals, and all of a sudden, you just know what to do with it? Or what's Like your I told process? you, I was given a day. Uh -huh. We're talking about just people who owns Just Records that's not pretty big. You get yeah, what I mean? Uh, not pretty big, like huge. Shout out to fucking Diamond for making it. Yeah, yeah exactly. no, they've done a lot of Sananda Sharma stuff as well. Yeah, and yeah. Did, but did you, Diamond. But that case, so huge. give, give no, me the recipe here. That, so yeah. like, are you uh, do you have Shut beats already made? You're attaching that to the vocals, or are you making everything from scratch? By the, yo, by the way, he knows absolutely Nothing. zero <laughs> yeah. about music. Yeah. So, but it's good because. I can shout out that a lot of our listeners may not know a lot about music. Yeah, well, so if he's got a question, usually other people have the exact same question. Like, how what, how does that work? <laughs> so yeah. so hip-hop beats you, are Thank one you. thing that, you. like, you know, I can have a hip-hop beat ready, and it's just one loop, and I send it to someone, they'll, they'll record vocals and send it back. Because that's how hip-hop works. Yeah. And that's how, as Canadians, we thought everything worked. Yep. You get what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <Straight up. laughs> We're like, wow, this is how shit works. That's easy. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Until... This Granampolar vocal comes in and it's like, make it. I'm like, what? <laughs> but, like I said, I was trained to do things quick. Uh -huh. You get what I mean? Uh -huh. So they give me a one day frame. I'm like, okay. So I stayed up the whole night making this one song that I thought was whack. I'm like, what the hell is this song? What's going on? Chanjit, Sardarni. I'm like, this is some, you know, whack vocals, whack everything. Yeah. But you, 
that's the whole point. You know, you don't know what's happening. We had another song, Wrangler, that I'm like, yo, if we post this song, it's gonna be the banger of the year, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. That song didn't even end up coming out till today. You get what but I doesn't mean? that doesn't that still prove the better? point that you can take? Sometimes you can take a vocal, and they probably gave you that vocal because they didn't know who you were. So they yeah. gave you a vocal that yeah. was maybe mediocre to them. Exactly. And once they heard the finished product, they're like, fuck, I made it, it a yeah. banger. Yeah, it's crazy, though. If you think about it, like a lot of people, they always go, you know what? The song that we always thought was going to be the back burner, it always comes, ends up being the biggest thing. Bro, like, PTC Awards, Banga Song of the Fucking Year. That's what I'm saying. Diamond. It, it was? Ganampal, oh, I told you. That we have to fucking pull out. That's how we made too many songs. Thank you. <laughs> can we play the track? Can we listen to it? Thank you, PTC. Uh, yeah, I oh, said you should. Yeah, let's Jazz see. records are fucking block shits all the time. So. Oh, oh so, yeah. Yeah. all right. It's we got inside here. Oh, Sorry, guys. Right. Right. Go listen to it. Diamond, <laughs> Grenon Buller. Listen yeah, but, to but it. When, it's when, available on when the When we were in India, I remember <laughs> when this song came like, out. Yeah, so, so, so b- back to it. Um, So I think it's a whack song. I think Wrangler is a good song. I'm like, yo, let's try, let's try shooting Wrangler. And no word about Wrangler or Diamond. Never hear about these guys for seven months. You get what I mean? Oh, no way. Yeah, I had no idea. Veeth G goes back to India and like everything's back to Veeth bro. Diamond? No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just saying those, no, like all those links. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm, okay. I, I, everybody goes back to India, and I'm, we're like, yo, we're back to ground zero. You mm. know, like now we gotta find more people. You know, you yeah. did it in the summer when they were all here. Yeah, right? when they're all here, and and I'm, I'm, I'm meeting everybody, but no one wants to work except yeah. Granam Pullet. You get what I mean? So that happens, and everybody goes back to India, and we're like, shit, we're back to ground zero. That's now. the worst. That's the, that's the worst feeling ever. You know, yeah. that's, that's why. I would sometimes just so, stop. Yeah. You get what I mean? And, like, and so that's, that's a big thing in the music industry that I've noticed that a lot of people would do a lot of work and then there'll be a lot of downtime in between yes. because people are figuring out their own situation. How many songs have you heard that I've done that so are not So many released? that I'm like so, still till today they haven't released yeah. kind of thing, you know? So You did Diamond before we went to India. Before we went to India. Oh. The, the, yo, I'm summer. telling you, one day in the summer. Just one day and mm-hmm. I never cared for it and we, did, we shot half of the Wrangler video the uh, rest of it wasn't shot and we're just like okay fuck it you know what let's start finding our own ventures it was just Jyoti's there Jyoti, we're trying to get Jyoti's songs out we're trying to do everything we can with yeah. the local talent to come out rather than just going for the A-listers you get what mm-hmm. I mean so so this uh, back to so that's when we get to CaliQuest right yeah he goes like, hey you said his name right yeah <laughs> so he goes like this is the whole um, this is the whole thing he goes like then he reveals the name he goes like Listen, you got one opportunity. You're already here. You're, I'm, I'm in Canada. I'm in Canada. No, we're okay. in Canada. He's like, yo, listen, you got two weeks to get everything arranged. Does he want you to come up? You yeah. know? And my heart drops. Was he just like teasing it or yeah, something? So, or like- so I'm like, I'm like, yo, my heart drops, but I'm like, could be a false alarm. You yeah. get what I mean? Because I'm 16, 17. Why would he want to find me up? Yeah. You get what I mean? No one takes kids seriously. Yeah. You get what I mean? So, but then Veeth Baji, because I had a good relationship with him when, Five months later, I get a message. He goes like, "But uh, then he calls him Didi. He goes like, Didi, I have a message that says that you are not going to I'm like, how much time? He's like, two weeks. I'm like, shit. So now we have, Fuck. so we now now we start like struggling. We're like, yo, what do we do now? What do we do now? So he goes like, one week. He goes like, one week to go. Like that's no difference. That's no difference, right? I'm like. <laughs> I'm in India, yeah. I'm in India, yeah. You know, like, so he goes, like, it's the Jesus song. We're going to stay with him. We're going to do everything with him, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, one, two weeks, cool. So I tell my school, I'm like, yo, one, two weeks, I'm back. So, like, I'll, I'll come back and do everything, right? Yo, um, so we get out there and. You're in high school, I uh, Grade 12. Just try to grade four. Final year. Final year, right? <laughs> Final year. Applying for uni and <laughs> shit, right? The uh, one that counts. The yeah. one that counts. The <laughs> one that counts, right? Sorry, sorry guys. We're talking about the Jeet over here. We got to get you guys all in the conversation over here. <laughs> shut, <go>. up, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, shut, shut up, Hoti. Sorry. Shout up, out to here, Simply Hoti in the house. <laughs> Just came through halfway through. Fuck you. All right. Sorry. Continue. <laughs> no, keep going. Yeah, so we get there. Um, uh, sorry, I go to... Uh, he he lives in Calgary. So I get to Calgary. And Doji lives in Calgary? No, no, no. Oh, uh, Doji, Doji, you know? Because he, he was my connect. I haven't talked to Doji yet. Doji yet. So he's like, uh, mere nali hona? So I'm like, my parents trusted him. I trusted him. So we're like, cool. So I go to Vith in Calgary. Stayed in Calgary for two days. And we both jump on a plane to India, right? Um, first day there. Second day. Third day there. Where do you guys land? Delhi? Uh, Delhi, and then we uh, took a coach bus to. Uh, I think we're fucking like Bangalore. Bangalore. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying like, do, uh, does he does he work in Delhi or does he work in? He uh, was in. Bay. He was in. Um, or in he was shooting a movie at that time that was close to Chandigarh. Okay. I forgot. Um, but he was shooting the the hockey movie. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. And um, so third day, me being there, he goes to Ajitana. I'm like, okay, cool, let's go. <laughs> you know, so we get on the we get in the car, we go. 
Um, so f- we go at night time because he wants us to meet in- him in the morning. So we go at night time to Chandigarh and uh, sorry, like evening time, and we meet Mankert Alik there. He's like, he, Veed, uh, my kid calls him Veed Katea, and he goes like, I'm going to and he goes like, okay, I'm going to So we, we sat down together, he gets to know me, and he calls me Gany at that time, you know, like he, he just, no, well, I mean, I, I didn't take <laughs> offense, that's like a girl, I'm not a Gany, I didn't, I didn't take offense, but he's just like, Gany, Katea, Gany, blah, you know, so. The night is fine. Like so, you what happened? Should hap- have been like, "Kidda ko player." So, um, so how it all ha- what happened was no one really knew. Not not even Veet Bajit knew the knowledge that I had, like with the harmoniums and stuff like that. We go to someone else's studio, uh, Western Pindus. Yeah, Western, Western Pindus. Pindus. Yo, shout out Western Pindus. Yeah. I love those so, guys. So yeah, Chilling. to me again, starstruck. It's Western Pindus. You know, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get all like Veet Bajit, Western Pindus. Wow. Sorry, I have no idea who they are. Western, Western Pindus. Two, 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 two guys that produce. Yeah, in Punjab. In Punjab. In okay. Chandigarh. One so, Western, one Pindu. <laughs> <laughs> Is that for real? Nah, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so, <laughs> so we meet it. Yo, it's getting very long. I'm so sorry. Nah, nah, um, nah. So we um, we go to that we go to their studio, and I, like I'm not trying to call them out here, right? But. Uh, the moment it came to actually showing your work, you called them out. Yeah, I called them out. Yeah. The moment it came to showing their work, they didn't. They weren't present. Type like like they didn't know what the fuck they're doing. You get what okay, I mean? Okay, yeah. So I'm sitting there and um, they're like, they have a vaja there. Manket Alak, he gets you know three four packs and he starts singing. And now it's, it sounds empty. So he goes like, "Thada studio, to see vaja jako." You get what I mean? Mm. And they're like, "Sir, we don't have any other." Oh shit! Sir, no money on that. And then I'm sitting there because I'm new. I'm like, "All right, cool." And then the the vaja goes to Veed, and he's Veed's like, "Veed's playing some next thing, and he's singing something else." And then I'm like, "Yo, you know what? Give it to me." So Veed, uh, you guys, you two yeah, know him, yeah, and Jyoti yeah. knows him. Veed had, <laughs> Veed had these like really funny bodyguards slash friends, Raju, Pita. Gopi, <laughs> and so they, they, they. they what, elbow- Vin, Vin, is that big in his bodyguards everywhere he goes? They're, they're, they're friends. They're friends. Oh, that writer. guy's living that life. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen? If, 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 you know, have you seen that TV show Entourage where like the dude he's made it and his boys have now just <laughs> tagged along? Yeah, that's Vin Pudgy. Oh, that's sick. So, yeah. um, so they, they, they hit me on my shoulder. They're like, "Yo, what are you doing?" You know, like we're talking about Vin Pudgy, Monkeyo. Like, if you fuck something up now, yeah, you, you, you fucked it up. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Who's this to tap you on your shoulder? The one of the one of the bodyguards. Okay. Like uh, one of the friends. I'm not yeah. even talking about bodyguards, okay. right? So one of the friends he goes like, "Yo, what are you doing? You know what I mean?" So I'm like, "Yo, no, no fine, it's, give it to me." Yeah. So he he was trying to sing "Kala Mitiya" and yeah. nobody else could play the thing. So he, he he's about to sing. I'm like, "Stop!" I'm like, "The Kala Mitiya tune, right?" Yeah. And he goes like, "Gyani." <laughs> <laughs> so wait, did you make that tune? Or no, 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 no. I just played it. I knew, okay. I knew what it was. He's trying to sing "Kala Mitiya." Yeah. I'm like, let me play that verse you know make the mahal and he goes like gyani yes i know mukhtar is spending mad time in toronto yeah. <laughs> like gyani's gyani yeah. uh, so so that's where uh, everyone gets impressed and you know it's, so that's when i need you know, some uh, it's good vibes you get what i mean yeah. it sounds like a beginning of a dope session you guys yeah. Yeah. so yeah it. so we went for like 2 3 hours just me playing them don't going back and forth um and that's when kamali was created Oh wow! Oh, Veet wow. Bajit was in the room, so was thing, and they and they're just singing. And he goes like, uh, um, uh, and he ri- he writes the la- the last paragraph of it. I forgot what it was, um, but it was it was pretty good. And everybody liked it. You're like, let's do a song. And then I'm sitting there like playing the watch. I'm like, yeah, the song's gonna be mine. <laughs> 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 and then they go like, oh, apa virak so karaiye. The Western print is like, nee, no, we'll do it. <laughs> like, oh, you know, like, and I'm there like, shit. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> I come all the way here to do this <laughs> to be a watcher. <laughs> Your session is buggy. <laughs> 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 and, so all right, so we go to see the next morning. We head down to I, for, I keep forgetting where it was, but we head down to there. And bro, he's literally we just hear the guy, the the director go. Um, action, and we walk in off time, and then he goes like, "Nani band kar, band kar, band kar, right?" Doji, he goes like, "Stop, stop, 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 stop," and he goes like, five minute break, five minute break, right?" So he comes to us, he goes like, "Kida baji, so vid vid, kida vid vid, kida." He knows all the friends too. And he's like, "Vinder Singh ji, thadnu, the baa veer si ki thadnu na mandi." I'm like, "Shit." That's crazy. Right? That's and I'm there, like, not trying to fan girl. Give me a fucking hug, Dilji. Come here. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I want to meet you too. <laughs> you know? Thought he would have slapped Chad. I've heard, I've heard about you. You're, you're, you're Dilji. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you're that guy, right? <laughs> but yeah, so like, 
that's a big moment. You get yeah, what I mean? Man. Huge moment. Yeah. So it's like I didn't have to introduce myself type of thing. That's huge. You get what I mean? Absolutely. And and that's always what I like my dad always aimed for it. We used to do Pangra and everybody go take pictures with the singers that we would do Pangra for. My dad was like, now nah, one day they're gonna take pictures with you. Wow. You get what I mean? Oh, give him a round of applause man. for this guy's dad. <laughs> man, <laughs> yo, that's fucking that's huge. Ball. <laughs> and that, that and that had been a mission since then, yo. Like yeah. if we're gonna do something, it, people should be coming to us. You get uh, what I mean? Hundred percent. So so uh, Diljit's on set shooting a video, a uh, movie. Sorry, yes. not a video. Shooting a movie. He tells everybody pause. He comes over, introduces just, himself to just you. Just to meet us. No work, no nothing. That's just to cool. meet us. Right. Takes us into his trailer. He goes like, okay, my a movie. The like I'm have a break in a couple of days. To see more And we're like, cool. We go back home. And this is when me and Vit Diljit started like really. Getting close, mm -hmm. you get what I mean. Close to the point that yo, like we wake up together, we like do every. The whole day was making songs, shitty songs, <laughs> and then going to sleep, and then the next day having fun. Blah blah sleep, blah. Eh? It was so good. Like it was, it was. I learned so much out there. You get what I mean. And then it was like it was such good relations that um, uh, uh, Spin Sang, Sintar, and everybody came. We lived there. You, yo, I stayed for like a week. Yeah, well. you, these yo. guys came. So <laughs> my it, first like four days in India was at Veet Bajit's house and I was starstruck. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. Yeah, so I didn't, I didn't drink the water though. Those do don't, that don't know, what does uh, Veet Bajit actually do? He's, he's a lyricist. A writer. He's, he's a, one of yo, the biggest okay. lyricists. Bro, the most the humble. Industry. If you like Punjabi yeah. movies, if you've seen yeah. Punjabi movies in the last five, six years, he's probably written he was 90 probably, of the songs. He's probably one of the newest, biggest lyricists yeah. that yeah. we've yeah. had. I'll tell you two big Songs Patella Peg, he wrote mm -hmm. uh, Lamborghini, yeah. but even Angrezi Beat, he wrote. Uh -huh. yeah. So he Lack 28, Karku, Podirat, Podirat. The whole Back to Basics. Basics album was Beat Baljeet. And, and that's the, in my opinion, why the yelling? Sorry. <laughs> I can't, because my headphones are He's going to hear in India, man. <laughs> <Is he? laughs> my headphones are like really low. <laughs> hold on, hold on. No, I'm trying to tell so him in India. Um, my headphones are really low. Go on, M. What are you saying? Go, go, go. Uh, the, uh, Back to Basics is the best Punjabi Pangra album. Much better, wow. JJ. Best Punjabi Pangra album I've ever heard. Crazy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, Kosa, I'm sorry, so, I'm dropping. No, no, sorry. I, I had to I, make sure everybody knew Vid yeah. Baljeet, yeah, how but big of a level saying. this guy's I'm at. Because you're eating Bronte with him in the morning, <laughs> making music at night. Kind of yeah, thing. man. But that's what I'm yeah, saying. I'm sorry, I'm dropping names, yeah. Aslin. Like, no, you're not. You, you get what I mean? Huge. Like, yeah. You're talking about. No, no, like, done. without you knowing who they are. You get what I mean? So, I'm, so he's pretty much the biggest lyricist and everything. I'm chilling with him. We're making music every day. Um, I got to meet so many people because of him. I, none of them ended up doing anything with me, but I got to yeah. meet them, right? Yeah. So that was the biggest. Networking. Networking. Networking is the biggest. Networking is the biggest. So uh, forward to Sintar and Spencer come to India. I think you guys are here too. Um, they came before. They came after us? Like no, couple, JJ couple days. came after. Sintar was no, JJ there. No, JJ didn't come. I didn't come to that one. Sintar was oh, there. Yeah, we came. And like then Pervesh came like two days later. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what happened. Yeah, cool. us with SP. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we, we didn't even know him or anything. We just knew Ikwender. Yeah. So... This guy opened his house to us. He's like, yeah. you guys got to stay. So he had like and two houses. I think that, at that time, yeah. it was like, there was some work that needed to be done with Equinder. We're like, okay, let's go meet Equinder. We went to, this guy went to come over to Equinder's yeah. house. And then I remember we went to this house. So we had like two houses side by side in Ludhiana. <laughs> and one was like for the boys and one was like to do music. In. And this guy had like a little closet. And yeah. There's a booth, like we made a booth. Like, they made Especially. a studio for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's it was crazy. the shittiest speakers with like the <laughs> the biggest quality like booth. I remember my first <laughs> my first I walk into this house, I was like 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 it was a couple. Harish Rama was there, remember? I wasn't there, yeah. so that Oh no, well, you were there. Okay, that was okay, there. Okay, okay. Here's Come on. Uh, what happened? It was just yeah. a session, everyone just jamming yeah. out. So you, you got you were one of the first ones to get to the house. Yes. Yeah, so and, uh, let's and hear the story. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I was going to like a Lodi party or something and you came and picked me yeah, up. Your with sister's Lodi party. Yeah, something yeah, like yeah, my nephew. So I yeah, don't know sorry. why I forgot that. <laughs> <laughs> you came Some. with the bodyguards, came came picked me and uh, SP. Wait, bodyguards? Bodyguards. This guy's Raju like, and Dom, bro. Like this. <laughs> don't you remember Raju Gopi, bro? Gopi, Come on, these man. Guys. So he picked me up. We went and... Um, same feeling, like we've never met this guy before, and he, and he was just open to us, like, yo, yeah. come to my house, stay at my house, got us food, even in the morning, took us for Bronte and stuff. Yeah. And this guy's a big, big singer. And yeah. Bro, we we went to him, like, we're Paji, like, we stayed at your house, and we're like, yo, where should we go eat right now? He's like, what do you guys want to eat? And we're like, yo, don't worry, like, just tell us a good little top about to go on the side of the road or whatever. He's like, yo, fuck it. 15 he goes, guys. He goes, go pee, count how many people there is, or whoever it was. He goes, like, count 20 guys. Like. He goes, all right. He counted, he goes, okay. They go give the order at like some top but down the road. Hotel, go, hotel, hotel. Yeah, hotel. Oh, yeah. shit. And like, 
15 minutes and they're like, let's go. They're coming out of one Out of one house, there's 20 guys walking out. Yo. Like, yo. Wow. He would fucking make jaw for everybody yeah. himself. Yeah. He's like, who wants jaw? I'm making it. He'll yeah. make it for us. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. most down to earth yeah. person I've ever Hands down, the most life. humble person. Like, like it, it was just, um, it, it was like these two came. Everybody came. And it was Sinkdar's birthday. We all go to Chandigarh. All of us. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. We, you guys came to our hotel. yeah. <laughs> that wasn't made yet. Oh, <laughs> that <God>. wasn't. <laughs> Something else was. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, the inside Something joke. else was. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can't talk about it. Oh, we we can't talk off about the record. Off the record. It's off the record. Right. Off the record. Um, so, <laughs> so yo, so like, like I said, it wasn't like yo, they're Oprah people. Like I'm Oprah. Like I knew them, but it was like yo, he knew them better than he knew me. Just the fact that. Like I, I used to always go like yo, apa jo, ab jo bhi gana apa sare kathe garde hone hai na, jero wathe ya hoga apa kathe rongye na. So it turned out to be more of a, a f- like you know more of a frequency trip than anything. You get yeah. what I mean? Uh-huh. Because when everybody showed up, we just went to Chandigarh and we just chilled there for Saint Joseph's birthday. J W Marriott. J W Marriott. That's all Shout we did. Shout out, shout out to J Dub. Yeah, and yo, nothing like yo. I'm a big uh, lyricist. I'm a like I'm a do it for. You wick wonder and fuck everybody else. Yo, gave him a song, gave him a song, gave him a song. Like, yeah. yo, like, it, he gave them songs? Just Bro, like, yo, so yeah, it man. just happened. Like, I remember one day, Kamal's like, I'm like, yo, I'm going to the mall. Like, I'm not staying here, right? Yeah, everybody and left. And, and we're he's just like, yo, I'm going to show him beats. I'm like, all right, yeah. cool. Like, Showed him luck beats. With that. He <laughs> loved one. He's like, yo, let's write something to it. Yeah. yeah. We fucking wrote a song. Yeah. What song yeah. was that? And he, I came back for the ball. Don't worry about it. I don't want to get the name He's like, I got a song. I'm like, fuck. Okay. So I got a shirt. Always for me as well was like because i knew at that point i knew these guys solid you get yeah. what i mean they were they were brothers like from different months so it was like yo if i'm gonna do something the rest of them are gonna do something mm-hmm. you get what i mean yeah. so um jj was never present for anything big <laughs> jj <laughs> flopped on that whole ever trip yeah ever since he was supposed to come ever since he went like a month after that he just didn't even Flop. come hold up you have to understand in the last fucking three years how many songs i've done yeah it's stupid so I don't have time sometimes <laughs> to fucking make it out. Oh, new I remember, friends, I remember, eh? Yo, can, yo. We dro- can we drop a oing, oing, oing for this guy? <laughs> <laughs> play the snake. Yo, play the snake oi, song. Oi, oi. No, hold on. We're going to copyright it. No. Yeah, we- oh, I'm going to do this right now. Uh, you want me to shout out shit? Three songs, twelve, uh, three years, 1,200 songs. Yo, play snake. Play snake. Play snake right now. Songs? Three years, 1,200 songs. Tell me That's who else fuck. has done three years, 1,200 songs. Oh, That's crazy. Yeah. Three yeah. songs that I haven't done one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, we've wow. Been, we've been skipping through a lot. So now. Yeah, yeah, no, no. He, it's he, all fun. It's he, all fun. he showed mad love to everybody. Mad love, right? Mad. Okay, so. Oh. Wicked guy. Like, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yo. To the point where, like, I thought Veet Paji was, like, this next time big time singer. It was like, yo, Equinder, Veet, is, and these bro. guys. He, yeah. He's huge. Like, he is. He is. He's next up. Like, the way he was down with us, it was a different type of down. Like, it's like he yeah. knew us. So, like, yeah. these guys, like, yo, we're coming to Chandigarh for a few days. We're going to book a room. We're like, don't book the room. We got rooms. Yeah. Stay with yeah, us. Yeah, we had So they stayed the with us and like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. A man's got smashed, fell asleep, woke up. And like, there's a little gaddi on the floor. Yeah. And like, we sleeping on him. Like, yo, what are you doing? Get on the bed. Get on the bed. He's like, no, it's cool. It's yeah. cool. Oh, wow. He's yeah. down yeah, to earth like that. Yeah. But there's been... So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say... Yeah. I'm not saying who. I've heard two sides to Veet. But I've now narrowed it down to after me and you spoke one time. Which is... Uh, it's how you meet them and who you meet. Yes. Right? Yes. And that's always the case. Once you meet someone, you meet them properly yeah. and you know who they are and how they are. You can meet anyone you want. They can be cool ass people and they can be non cool ass people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. you're going to be non cool if you meet someone who's non cool. Yeah. And you're going to be cool as fuck if you meet someone who's cool as fuck. What's yeah. the other side that you heard? No, nah, I can't. Oh, okay. Not, not from wow. who? Well, wait, did you just wow. hear Let, things that he No, was, this is like, he no, wasn't this is not like directly. Yeah, this yeah. is like through other people. There's. When you put someone who's big, yeah, you're always gonna hear bad shit. It's like frequency, uh, like frequency and friends. Yeah, frequency and friends, people talk shit about us, so you're gonna hear the shit talking. Yeah, same thing with bigger people. You hear the bad sides before you hear any of the good sides. True enough. Yeah, but with him directly, all I heard was, "Yo, he's helping me. Yo, he's helping me do this. Yo, he's helping me do but that. Yo, because, he's helping me do this." Because he was boys. We didn't see that side because yeah. Yeah. he was boys. We automatically became, became boys. boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so I remember like, like so hard, but but, but, that, of that but that but that was because every, like nothing was out there without frequency type of thing. You get what I mean? Like it was like uh, yeah, we're doing frequency on podcast, but that would like that would be like an 
hourly conversation every day then tu kide naal hunna se ga na ki kar dene se whatever But like yeah jay static you, you know like uh, all like these you showed him this is my this, people these yeah. are my people yeah. and they're going to come here yeah. you get what i mean yeah. and we're going to have fun yeah i don't know what the But fun even was even with conversations yeah. with him i would tell him i'm like yo Beware. Everyone's going to fucking come to you with, I got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they got this. Yeah. yeah. So they got this and they come to you so with listen, this. So I, listen, I didn't get this or that. I just got love. You yeah. get what yeah. I mean yeah. from him? Which is great. We made a lot of songs that were not at all promised to be coming out. Yeah. So it wasn't like, oh, Gwinder, I'm going to sing all the songs. I'm going to sing all the songs. I'm going to sing all the songs. It was like, I'm going to sing all the songs. Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah. About the, like he's like, Kosh Hove and 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 props to the D too. He said the same thing to me when when he actually recorded the song, Chill. Yeah. Chill. Yeah, he said to me this too. He's like, listen, Jema Gana Kita Na Kita, Ray to Tu Del Niharma type of thing. He's like, he's like, you're gonna get somewhere, that's why you're here in the first place. Because yeah. like artists like, like that do a lot of songs that probably don't <laughs> Yeah, have no, up, so so I didn't punk it every morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I mean, realistically, that could break somebody down. Where you, you know, you get out there, you have all these high expectations, yes, yes, yes. and he explained that to you in a real exactly. OG kind of way. And, and so it wasn't like hop out, chulu gardein gana, blah blah blah. None of that, man. None That's of that. Talk. It was, it, it was, yeah. it was good. Like I, I remember, I would keep him update on everything anyone said to me. Yeah. Type of thing. You get what I mean? Uh -huh. So um, January 10, I remember this day. Sorry, January like eight, seven something. I met the shoot for Long Lachi. So I meet uh, Emmy Virk, I meet uh, Ambardeep, I meet all these people, you get what I mean? And Long Lachi, you guys know the movie, yeah. right? So we're shooting and um, what happens is... Who's the girl in Long Lachi? Manat Noor and Nidu Bajwa? Manat Noor. She's a singer, isn't she? I know him. I know him. I watch him. Yeah. I'm out. Sorry, go ahead. So <laughs> what happens? January 10th, big day. So January so January 8th, 7th, oh, uh, Gurnapular posts a song called Diamond, like uh, 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 a poster. And I'm sitting around like, yo, what the hell is Diamond? Why am I tagged into it? And my name was written along. It was I K V I N D E R. Vinder. Hey, Vinder. I'm like, what is all that? You know, like, what? so they just post it. Like I said, I haven't talked to these guys for seven months. Yeah. Right. So they just post it. I'm sitting there like, yo, what's Diamond? I didn't make no song called Diamond because, I, like I said, I didn't really focus on the lyrics or anything. I used to name it Sardarnie. All the like the the versions. When I got it too. So. Yeah, you got it too, Sardarnie. Right, and um, so that happens. I'm like, oh, okay, so now that's the song. And yo, so he writes like a big paragraph saying, admitted, mera dil to sab to jada close song, stuff like that. I'm like, bullshit. Everyone says that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. January 10th, I'm in the studio with Galej Akhtar, the, the female yeah. singer, right? And we're coming back home. I get a call from Sanctor. He's like, yo, your song leaked. I'm like, what song? He's like, yo, Diamond. I'm like, what? It leaked? Like, what? You get what I mean? And he goes like, yo, no, there was, so we were living in the colony and right in front of the colony was like a, a palace with, you know, Vyavu. Yeah. So the same day it comes out, it's banging. And my brother's like, Wait, yo. Wait, this is why you're in bro. India. Just to this is why I'm in India. January 10th, right? At the wedding across At the wedding across the, the street. Wedding across the street. He calls me. He's like, yo, you're Sangali. I'm like, can't be, right? He was like, it's playing right now. And yo, I go onto my Instagram. Boom, 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 everywhere, bro. Everywhere, right? And yo, so here's the thing to me. I, I did a lot of songs before that, right? Shit songs. And I would ask these guys, <laughs> I would ask these guys, yo, are they bumping? Nah. They're not. They're like the, the most honest people ever. Yeah. And so I messaged Spencing. No, Spencing was me. Sorry. I messaged, I messaged you. Not I, me. Not you. I messaged Kiss. I'm like, yo. We were all together. We were all, all together. Yeah, and we're like, but, it's not bumping because we didn't. Yeah, so in was, India, it wasn't. in the car, remember? No, yeah. when we got to India, it wasn't pumping, but like a week into yo, India. In the car and the ride from, where did we go? Agra? No, Jaipur. Oh, we were for a gig. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember, we were listening to it in the car. Yeah. It's on a podcast. I'm like, yo, Ike Winters, new because song is sick. January 10th, yeah. you were in Canada. Weren't yeah. you? No, remember. we came no. on the 16th. No. And I remember exactly. this. Exactly. We said Agra. We, we did a little trip to fucking Taj Mahal. Yeah. It was pretty fucking nah, sick. No, man, it wasn't that fucking time. <laughs> we went to Jaipur <laughs> for my gig. Oh, what? No, what was the date? What was the date? We're in India too much. That. Listen, yeah. all Check I remember, I messaged. Like I remember. <laughs> listen, I just remember messaging one of the free guys. Free guys, yo, did this play, and they said yes. Mm -hmm. On the day, the day of the day, like the night they came out, is playing. Wow. That's how. And then I'm, st I'm like, yo, is this gonna be big or is it gonna be like a two-hour thing? You get what I mean? Yeah. Like a two-day thing. Chale yeah. gana tkiya. Bro, after that, everywhere I went, just like five times playing, yeah. 20 times all, playing. All, all, yeah. all four of us went to Jaipur, right? Jaipur, yeah, 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 yeah. We were listening on the way. We yeah. all I remember we that. snapped I remember. it. Yeah, we were yeah, yeah, yeah you snapped it. So, so bro, so so what, what changes for you? My bad. <laughs> right, when that song uh, drops, obviously you're getting all the IG notifications. Are your followers going that, up? Listen, like, that didn't matter. That up? never mattered to me. What mattered was from there on, whoever I met didn't know me. Like, didn't wasn't like... 
who is this? They didn't know it was the guy who made that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now you're the diamond. Bro, so now, so now I'm the guy who made this a mediocre singer, a mediocre producer into the biggest song of the year, yeah. biggest pr- biggest singer of the year. Yeah. It, not even it, it, that song's gonna be big for years. For years, it was yeah. an evergreen song. So now take that in from evergreen. Like so, evergreen. So, so so take that in from where <laughs> wow. I started. From where I started, that song was whack. Yeah, you get what I mean. One day you made it. One day I yeah. made it. I remember, like after. So who I played this Swaggy on it? Me. That turn. Yeah. Right listen, now. listen. Like that, people don't have to listen to the lyrics to know what song it is. The Swaggy is enough. Yeah. Mm. You get what I mean? And like, and I that know. was yo. So the, everything comes to place. I was start the. I was playing Swaggy. You get what I mean? Everything the, fell. Yo, everything into fell place into and it. Came together. For yeah. this right. song, you know how it's a banger because. It starts on a, like the way he sings it. It's such a low, voice, low yeah. note Octave and low jumping. voice and whatever it is. Like even the, it's a high the, low the, type song. Yeah, yeah it's but like two voices. But when that's it bangs, where it started from. It bangs. When yeah. you're playing at a party, people kind of trip out at first. They're like, yeah. what the fuck's coming on? And then you gotta play my edit. I can't believe. I can't, <laughs> can we play your edit? Because I gotta no. take a piss. No. Okay. All right. Keep going. Let's go. Right. Totally. We're gonna get blocked. <laughs> but yeah. So yo, from there. Biggest song, man. Like yeah. I'm there. Like how am I responsible behind the biggest song? You get what I mean? Is yeah. it? You never believe shit like that until someone else tells you. You get what I mean? Yeah. And so, from but you th- made that a fucking hit. A fucking hit. I remember this guy. Like, it was Diamond, and I think some of the songs after that. Every time I would repost it, you would message and be like, "Yo, does it actually bang? Like, do you actually like it?" Or Yo, because I was never sure about it. You know, like he it, still us. He'll yeah. be like, yo, banger. Uh, yeah, like, yo, to, like I said, yo, he asked me for Kamal. He goes, is it a banger? I'm like, yo, look, the one he did with G Siddhu is a better song. I, I remember. The bus got song, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but, but Kamal's whatever. Yeah, but yeah. like, yo, it ended up being a banger. I like track. So, better. So at this point, uh, Diamond's out. Now you're back with the G because he said, let's take a break so, for no, a few no, days so, and get together. No, no, no. So November was the G. Th- during December, it all kind of faded away. So I never saw the D ever again. He was there Even for a solid. Yo, okay. since since the song got leaked, it's out there. We can play it probably, right? Yeah, what song? Chill. Chill. Yeah, chill. yeah. 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 Let's, Let's do that. that, and then we'll go to it. Then Perfect. we'll talk about Here it. Here it is. Okay. Chill. Okay. The song with Dil G, the song and Nick Winder sing that got leaked. All right, and we're back from that track that was Dil G Chill, produced by one and only Nick Winder sing. Tell us how that went down. Yeah, okay, so um, we meet at his uh, bus, and, and, and it just goes down. like he, His bus? V- yeah, yeah, his, his um, trailer? Trailer. 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 Right, uh, <laughs> at the movie set, and he goes like, yo, I'm Sarasman, not like, yeah, I'm like, cool. And Veet has this written, and I made the beat on spot. He writes the rest of the lyrics, and we recorded 4 a.m. in the morning. I remember this, 4 a.m. in the morning, right? And from there, like I said, he gave me those words that, listen, if I do them or I don't do them, you get what I mean? Don't, like, lose... Don't take it to heart. Don't take it to heart. You get what I mean? And, yo, to me, it was like, I'm not going to take it to heart because the most I have right now is the fact that you acknowledge me. That's enough. No. You get what I mean? Yeah. 100%. That's that's un- That gives me satisf- satisfaction right there. 100%. So, again, um, Diamond's out. So now people are asking, who the hell is Dick Winder? Right? And uh, I met uh, Menkirth before came, Diamond came up and never met him after either. Right? So, like I said, uh, I come back to Canada now. Um, January is over. I come back to Canada. Uh, like I have to graduate too now, so I'm in the hole. So I, um, <laughs> hopefully school's not listening. <laughs> so I make up this master by plan where I'm going to co-op every Kusi Entertainment. Have you got paid from Diamond? Motherfucker! <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, if you guys need I co-op, had to, I had to meet with his teacher. That was that, that, yeah. That was the one year. Spencer had the rest of the day. Twice. Yeah. I had to meet with his dad teacher. Dad number two came. Yeah, dad number two yeah. meets with his teacher. Like, uh, oh, is he coming? Yeah. What's he going to learn? Uh, he's going to learn how to... Like, he's already a great musician, so I'm just going to teach him the technical aspect of everything. Oh, okay, that's great. Uh, can you go through your curriculum? Yeah, no problem. So I'm going to teach him from <laughs> this to that to this to that to this to that. So fuck, you pulled up my old curriculum. <laughs> yeah, he's going he's gonna to learn all this. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Okay, cool. Well, um, can I come back whenever I need to? Can I give you, like, 24 hours notice? I'm like, you can, but the thing is... Like, I record a lot in other places, so I don't know if you're going to be able to make that happen. Yeah. This is all his words. <laughs> like, yo, if he says he's going to come to fucking make sure he knows that <laughs> he may not come because we're going to be in another studio. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> Wait, there's a lot of bullshit Scam. going yeah. into this, right? But, yo. So, start every, your internship. Every, every person wrong said, yo, drop out. You make money. You're a superstar now. Fuck yeah. that. I'm like, no. You, if you I, haven't made you know, a penny yet off of Diamond. No, nothing, nothing. man. Nothing. Yeah. Like it, it was, like I said, there's an opportunity. You get yeah. what I mean? And so, it starts off with that. So, now I'm, I'm, now I'm dancing like everywhere trying to graduate. Yeah. You get what I mean? So, yeah. um, so one person, Gary Sandu, 
Uh, he does not like Veed, but G, but he somehow wanted to work with me. He doesn't like Veed, but they have, they, they have, have pro- problem. like most people have problems with okay. each other. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, Probably. yeah, I don't know. Okay. And he he calls um, and he goes like, "Then gonna gonna yeah, baby." Had one version to it. I had the second version to it. He's like, "Yo, the first one's okay, but like I want to do a one for video." And um, listen, I don't know which one plays more. Don't care. But I don't even think I heard the other one to I'm be honest. Right. Right. So, because uh, the video came out with it, right? Yeah. Then. So, so, like, he basically made Yeah Baby with somebody else and he yeah. made it with you as then well. He made it, so, he released his yeah. own version and then he goes, like, Yo, Quinn, I want to soup it up a bit. He's like, I want to make it faster, but even as a video, like, how do I do this? I'm like, Yo, just give it to me. Send me everything you can and I'll finish it off. Again, like, a two day thing, third day, fourth day, it's out. Yeah. You get what I mean? And bro, that shit blows up too. Yeah. That's, w- that's what the video, the whole the deal. Vi- video and everything. Okay. Again, I'm just like, yo, what, what's happening? Like, what are these songs? Why am I giving ch- ba- and, like, again, not good songs? Again, an opportunity, not a paid deal. No, that was paid. That was he, paid. Th- that's one guy that doesn't lack on paying people. Wow. You get what I mean? Okay. It's we, one we've guy- had a lot of people talk down on Gary on the show, so you're speaking up about it. No, I'm going to speak up about yeah. it, man. I'm going to speak up uh, about it. I, it, it. To be honest, like if, if anyone else has screwed me over, the only person that has kept good relations with me is him. Good for you. You get what I mean? Shout out to um, Gary. Yo, uh, best, way, best thing with me and him is communication. He talks in English, so like, <laughs> we're not we're not stuttering and he knows the like struggle a, Pagi Cardo, Pagi He's no, he knows the struggle of going to England and doing all of that having a shitty career into the biggest career too so you know he would understand what I'm in right so anyways yeah baby happens boom and now people are even more curious so because Diamond was a Pangra song and no one in Toronto knew how to make Pangra music everyone's like India chona kithe India you get what I mean and they come here like thodi hona he's like and I lost a lot of work because of that you know what I mean? Because at the time Diamond comes out, um, everyone thinks um, you know, I'm somewhere where I'm not because it's a punk song. Who makes a punk song in Toronto? Oh. It wasn't a vibe. Yeah, you know it wasn't I mean? here yet. It wasn't here yet. Uh-huh. So that comes out and the uh, Yeah Baby comes out. Then everybody comes for the medley, right? Everybody comes for the medley. And um, so shout out to Ron Chatta, if anyone knows Ron Chatta here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, um, like, so he he got, he got in touch with me through just Vipo, Just Records. And then he was just like, bring it all the artists at my place, right? So it was like, to me, it was like, yo, you're bringing them to me, but it's my responsibility to keep them. Or else, yo, they're, they're going to shit on me and run. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's right. my responsibility, yo, like, let's make music good music, right? So Ahmed Ma comes and um, difference was DJ Flow's song. You see how quietly he just said that Amrit Man comes? Yeah. Like, what do you mean, Amrit Man Amrit, comes? Amrit Man showed up to your yeah, place. Yeah, Amrit Man shows up to my place. We do every other song, and me and Akhil, Ron Chatta, and Amrit Man are in the car listening to DJ Flo's Difference, right? Me and Akhil look at each other like, yes, this is whack, bro. Like, you know, what, what's happening? You know, it was like, too that, much going on. That's Gani Akhil. Gani right? yeah. Akhil, yeah, yeah, yeah. Akhil. I thought it was Akhil. Huge Akhil. 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 Yeah, so we like, were... Not just some desi named Akhil. Yeah, like, Akhil, yeah, yeah. So it was like... Akhil. So the whole thing was <laughs> that... who's DJ Flo? DJ Flo is another producer. Um, Gangland. Gangland. Who, who originally made Difference. <laughs> Singapore. Oh, correct, yeah, correct. Uh-huh. So what happened was... <laughs> so <laughs> what happened was... Um, so that that whole thing happens. We were writing a song for Akil, and so he's like, so we, we, Amit Mon likes going on walks and like leaving the studio to refresh his mind. Mm-hmm. So we went for a drink with Starbucks, and like he's like, "Matanu kana sunana," right? And I'm like, "Sick." And we're in the back seat, Akil. He's like, "We're like, yo, what the hell is this shit?" I'm like, "I like my shit better." You get what yeah. I mean? So. Um, so DJ, something happens with so me. I, I didn't understand that. You guys went on a walk, and what did he sing you? He no no. Uh, we went to Starbucks on a car ride, and he shows us difference. Oh, okay. And and we yeah. don't find it as good as you, you know, didn't we like thought it. that yeah. he amped it up for. Uh-huh. So um, just coming, just like uh, vaguely telling you, like uh, uh, we had a communication problem with DJ Flo because he was in India, blah blah blah. He wasn't responding. So and they shot the video and the version and everything, and they go like, "Yo, listen, we need a teaser right now. This guy's not answering." We need something. We put the poster up. I'm like, cool. So I got that violin. Yeah. Right? And so that, he goes like, yo, that's fucked. He's so like, yo. was any of that part of the original track? Or nothing, like nothing. From scratch? It, it, literally, it was a 30 second teaser, right? Yeah. I'm just like, nah, 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 nah. You know, make it sound cool. Yeah. Like dramatic. Yeah. And he's like, bro, make the whole song, right? I'm like, cool. So the song, the day the song drops, bro, it says, Ikwinder Sing. 
And bro, fucking DJ Flo drops did, his own did version. Did the song drop before the video? I never heard no, the no, DJ no, 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 version. I never heard the DJ Because the video, so, when, was, when uh, Amrit Man shot that video, that was when he was here in Toronto at the Thompson and all that. Yes, yes, he, yes, yes, yes. That's it, he, that's it. It was a that's big, that's big budget video yeah, that was, he, yeah, he had. Yeah, so... We uh, were shooting Deep Jones' video the same day. Me and Dola were shooting. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah the same day, yeah, yeah, That's what it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyways, that song comes out, says Dick Winder's saying, I'm like... Sick, it's not the biggest song, but let's see where it goes. Uh-huh. Yo, it and was the biggest song. Yo, like, biggest but I don't know what that's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't know at that time at 12 o'clock. Three hours later, fucking people are posting your DJ Flow dropped the song, DJ Flow dropped the song. It's different. Said, yo, I'm at the one freaks out. Cause yo, um he didn't put DJ Flow's name on and he's upset. But if you're not if you're not responding, what do we do about that? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm at the one is is stuck in a place where he has songs of movies that are contracted and everything with in DJ Flow's hands. Now if if that gets leaked, yeah. you know, I pretty much it, it's, it's a big problem. Yeah. So he's like, he calls me and goes like, my older not bother me. Like, no, it couldn't sing DJ for I'm like, yo, you know what? That that's okay with me. You know, I don't want to ruin your guys' relationship. I'm new. You know what I mean? So I'm like, yo, it's okay, put it on. But yo, people know me for it. Yeah. You know, because the the hype is the first couple of hours. Yeah. You Wait, know? So on the official release, DJ Flow's name is there? It's, it's now Equinder Singh and DJ Flo. Oh, okay. You know? Again, know DJ Flo has way more hype than me, but yeah, the song's mine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah straight up. And, uh, but shout out to DJ Flo, sick producer. Mm-hmm. Sick, sick yeah. producer, you get what I mean? Yeah. So, yo, those are my, like, the biggest three songs I have, right? Yeah. Diamond, Yeah, Baby, Difference from there, so... And it's they all a, came on one and year. And chill, chill was yo, a big one. Chill, I think so, was yeah. big. Yeah, but yeah. It's just because it got leaked. Yeah. Like, so yeah. what happened was I had a couple of good songs, like big singer songs. They weren't like DJ Bangers though, right? Yeah. So what happened? What happens is, um, I wake up and this he messages me. He was like, "Yo, what happened to your song?" I'm like, "What happened to my song?" He's like, "Yo, chill got released," and he 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 sent yeah. me a link. Yo, oh, I'm wow. tripping out, bro. Yo, I'm like, what? He messages me too. Everybody messages and me. And then you called me. And I called you. Cause, so, Veet calls you. He goes, I'm like, 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 i you get what I mean? Yeah. That's a I, big deal. Listen, That's I the biggest opportunity of Everybody your life. heard it, but no one had it. Yeah. yeah. Except yeah. you, Veet Padit, and JJ. Yeah. Every yeah. other song I'll say, yeah. still, uh, uh, to any singer listening, these guys receive all my songs. Yeah. You get what I mean? I, if I, if yeah. I like something, like you just uh, sit my head down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 100%. So, so Veet Padit calls you, he says, Agi Gita, yeah, you know so, you didn't release yeah, it. Yeah, I'm just like, bro, I'm going to get up. Like, I'm going to get up. Like, I'm going to get up. He's like, I'm going to get up. I'm like, all right, let me call JJ. JJ goes like, yo, no, I'm, I, don't, I trust him. Hold on. No, no. I'm gonna explain. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. If I know a song is coming in, same with this Herman song. Yeah. I made sure. Shout out that Herman. Well. Sure, shout out Herman. He asked me. He's like, "Did JJ play you the track?" I was like, "No." I'm like, yeah. if I'm gonna have a song that's labeled in my fucking directory yeah. or in my email, and I know it's from a Diljit or from a big ass fucking artist, even Divine songs, which I yeah. have, I do not. I make sure I do not label it with anything that says Diljit or Divine or anybody. Yeah. Because if someone's gonna search my email and try to steal something, they're not gonna know what the song title is. Exactly, yeah. and that's it. Yeah. All so, right, so he's clear. Yo, clear. <laughs> I knew I was. None of us were in it. Like yeah. I knew, like yo, it was such a serious project, and plus we've forgotten about it so far. So what's the point? And of what do you gain out? What of it? What do you gain out yeah. of it? I'm a kid. I'm yeah. 18 years everybody's old. Everybody's trying. I to lose get everything, bro. Yeah. 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 You yeah. Know the what best I mean? situation is him Because everybody's gonna be it. like, yo, he. He leaked the song. Why work with him now? Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah. So I'm like, bro, Appa and Nigita, you guys figure it out. So. Long story short, um, it came out, it came out, but... Did they figure out how it got leaked? Nah, man. Like, I have theories. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, really? But, like... I, I, heard this, uh, I heard there's a dude. Yo, I heard see, there's one what's the dude's see, name? Shout the dude out. I, you know what? I can't remember the dude's name, but Herman's been talking about Have you about guys seen that movie, too. The Big Lebowski? There's just um, the dude? There's a... There's... Because <laughs> uh, yeah. Kylie Karina, same thing. Mm-hmm. Herman. He's like, yo, did you show someone? I'm like, nah. He's like, the same motherfucker. Is asking me if, if uh, like if you're if I'm the one who made it or if I'm the one who did it, which is Herman. Yeah. And I'm like, nah. First off, I don't know who this guy is. Yeah. And second, 
Why would I show? Why would I show that guy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Those that don't know who are asking, Kylie Karina's the new track. By the time this episode comes out, it'll be dropped. It's dropping on Good Friday. It's uh, Herman Atwal. Is money my, music. Yeah, money Fucking music. Fucking Sean. I got to shout out Herman Atwal because he's my little cousin. Yeah, man. He, yeah. He's the one who put everything together and he put uh, money music. With Tage Gill's involved as well, right? Yeah. yeah. Tage Gill, XD Pro, Tage Gill's on there. He basically, you know, what I got to give a shout out to Herman team. for because he brought the whole team together. Everybody yeah. from Toronto. Sick. Anybody he could, he put together. J Static mixed and mastered it. So he, it's a big track. Kylie, you know, dlg has been talking about Kylie Jenner <laughs> all the time in his comments yeah, she's, she's, on all his shit. So now he just named the track for Kylie and Karina Kapoor, which are two huge. Yo, watch women. that be on Kylie's yeah. Snapchat, bro. Watch so, that. And he's got a lot of Damn. other big, big things coming out. I was just uh, was uh, privy Herman's to hear got a few mad things. Shit, yeah, some man. super, super bangers. So we're, wait, Herman, look out for that. He produces, does he? No, no. no so he's man. got. He's like an A. Yo, he's a real. Oh. Yeah. I'll be honest, nah, fuck that. You guys are bigger than that. The one thing that he's really good at, he's a good composer. Like, he knows really? how to do, like, hip-hop type flows but like, in a Punjabi because yeah. he's fucking oh. Punjabi's ill. Yeah. And he makes it sound fire. He's I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie, as soon as I heard yeah, Kali like, Karina, I was like, this is fire. He, you know what? He's got such a good ear and he picks up. He was at, with Nav uh, with this whole album. Yeah. This album that just dropped. Yeah, yeah, he was in the habits. studio with them all day, all night. And you got to give a shout out. It's kind of like what you did with these guys when they came down to India and said, Frequency is my team. Yeah, so yeah. when they come, it's all of us. This is what we do together. He did the same thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that song gets leaked. And after that, I, I, I didn't really care. You mm-hmm. get what I mean? I, I didn't do it. So I know I'm, I'm good. Did yeah. you have a conversation with the Jeep? No, man. I didn't talk to no one after that, bro. Like, oh, I haven't man. talked to anybody. So, because it wasn't my responsibility, you yeah. get what I mean. I didn't do it, so I'm not gonna take response. Like, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um. So I, I moved on. I don't, and then yo, just ironically, it starts playing everywhere too. You, it, was, uh-huh. it was a good song for the year. Did it, the official track get released? Nah, nah. Like, Veet uh, Baji released it, uh-huh. but it, it wasn't like video or anything. You okay. get what I mean? No promotion by the no nothing. Like, it was just out there yeah and people just catch on to it right mm-hmm. and yeah slowly you get what i mean yeah um so yeah so now it's just you know working with all the a-listers and you know just trying to keep the name out there to pretty much just build up a portfolio to get into the hip-hop universe you get what i mean that's where you're so heading. going to florida in two weeks uh, for two years yeah. for is that what the windbreakers for? Yeah. <laughs> are you taking M with you? He's I going with me. He he's, <laughs> he's like, you got three months. He's like, you got three months to I figure told him, out. like, yo, figure out the location, <laughs> figure out the area, and we're coming for a fucking spring break tour. But so, sorry, <laughs> hip hop. What do you do? With so hip-hop? no, so like, yo, like I said, we're Canadians. We hip hop is root, and then yeah. everything comes with it, yeah. right? And yo, like, if we have an advantage, like, yo. I'm hitting 100 million views, 300 million views. People look at that. 100 million views? Yo, uh, I think Diamond's 300 million views yeah. plus. Uh, Real but views, yo, sir. listen, no one knows that. <laughs> I don't know that. Yeah. But they don't know that. No one knows that. Yeah. You get what I mean? So if they see my portfolio, they're like, this kid's doing numbers. Like, all right, but we're going to fuck with him. You yeah. know what I mean? So, so you're going there for school? So I'm going there for school. So I know I know. I have people out here trying to do the same thing for me. Like they, They've had my portfolio. they got everything trying to push me in any direction they have. Um, Florida's just yo like school is an excuse out there is networking you know mm. um, I, I got great the, school too uh, yeah great school a Crazy lot of people school. like DJ what school is that Full Sail Full University it's um, a big school yeah, you got like, part of Florida like, big, part of, big, uh, big engineers Orlando. coming Orlando. out of there okay. yeah so, don't even underplay this guy this guy got a fucking scholarship to the school yeah and you really? know how hard it is to get a scholarship to a music school how it's do you get a scholarship crazy. to music school it was all yo listen I've been trying to get into that school since I was in grade 10 mm-hmm. yo anybody I met there my roommates and everything they're over 25 years old bro that's crazy you get what I mean and what's so, the credentials to get a scholarship credentials are you gotta have something under you get what I mean 300 million like, yo, you gotta so 300 you, million you can't just walk in there not knowing what you're doing so you can't just be somebody who's super smart you gotta have actual track yeah type. you get what a I mean track record okay. yeah like it's everything film game designing whatever it is you yeah. get what I mean you that's gotta that's the school that's yeah. the school you gotta be one of the top to get into it mm-hmm. so yo by the time everything comes out I'm like yo I send my officer the admission officer I'm like blah, blah, yo this is me this is me this is me they create a portfolio and yo, two like two days later, they're like, yo, uh, you got to do this essay for a scholarship. You like, you got, you're like one of the Canadians who got it. And I'm like, bam! So I do it, and I get the scholarship. So it's like pretty cool. Yeah. Nice and give a round of applause. Hi, hi. Yeah, look at that. That's huge. Um, you, but yeah, yo, out of there, we're looking at people like DJ Khaled who fuck with the school. We're, we're looking at DJ Khaled went to that school. No, like they, they, they they're, they're one of the supporters at the school. Oh, okay. And like uh, what I from what I know, like if like it's anything in any business, networking is the best. You get what I mean? Biggest thing. There's so many mix and master people. Or like the professors there aren't like stable professors. They're like the people that work in the industry that come and teach you. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, so it's people like that. Like, uh, Florida's a big market for hip hop, man. It's huge. It's Atlanta, New York, uh, LA, hip hop. Uh, Florida. Miami. That's where the like, party next door moved, right? Yeah. Exactly, right? Yeah. Tory Lanez, all these people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Tory yeah. Lanez lives there. Even Drake uh, ori- originally went to Miami, lived in wow. Miami. Full Sail is one of those schools. Like, I, I go on YouTube and watch the they're, lectures of what yeah. these guys like if, if they're available like it's one of those schools like if you're mixing at full skill you're like doing like if you're learning at full skill you're mixing for Rihanna Jay-Z yeah. like yeah. you're doing they, WWE artists. what is it called NXT yeah. is, is, is shot there so uh, music students or film whatever yeah. Yeah. their internship program is WWE wow and you're per- you're perfectly comfortable transitioning from the Tadi Sarangi all the way straight to, <laughs> to 808. Yo, listen, wait, no you- one's heard his shit. His fucking hip hop is fire. Listen, yeah. yo, fire. One thing I told JJ and Jyoti was, listen, um, we were. This is the first time we went to India. We were in Chandigarh, I think, one of the restaurants. I'm like, yo, I don't care about anything, about the music or about the money. You have. It's, if the puck is being represented on a big level, yeah. that's all that matters. Yeah. 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 That's all that matters. Talk life. You know what I mean? Listen, yeah. Yeah. That's, yo, your face. most of the people I met in the industry, like, that's, that's working around me, they're like, yo, your music's, like, amazing, yeah. but we're able to present you because you're different. That's you it. You know what I mean? You've got something no one else got. Yeah. You get what I mean? And so my whole my whole theory is, yo, like, if, we, if we're out there together, yeah. you know, I, I always tell these guys, listen, whoever I work with now, too, is like, I'm happy that Gorti comes and I'm like, listen, you're never around. What's wrong with you, bro? Hold the fuck up. <laughs> this guy named Happy Right Gorti. Happy Right Gorti is one of the biggest fucking writers. Right. This guy's got so many songs with this guy and he just showed me like four the whole of them. album. Fire. When I mean fire, this will no offense. <laughs> this will remake this motherfucker's career. So you're it's not you're so not necessarily fire. stepping away Real from shit. Punjabi music. No, but the whole so that album he's heard is like is literally a transition like okay. in my music as well. You get yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So cuz I don't in, in hip hop no one wants to hear Diamond. You get what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But they want to hear Yeah Baby and that, uh, Difference. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. Know, they want to hop on that. You yeah. get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it was, it was always my mind that yo we're going to do something we're going to do it on a bigger level. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? So now the whole uh, just wrapping everything up the whole future plan is you know, like go out there, meet people. You know, like yo, you gotta, you gotta do certain things to get into it. Is that along the vibes of like what uh, Bird and Musa, what are them doing? Of like kind of dropping hip hop style beats and having a singer kind of almost rap on it. Um, no, but that's that's not my plan. That's my plan, my plan is yo, let's do Pongra music just uh-huh. be, just because it's it's giving it's me side money, yeah. right? It's it's great. But it, no, it's good for the culture. Yeah, too. It, that's what yeah. I'm saying. It, it it helps our community grow. Because a guy like Man's Music came on and he dropped some big hip hop artists that he was yeah. working with in different style though, right? Like he does that a uh, Bollywood style yeah, yeah. where he drops a feature. Now this is different. This guy wants to do. Like if he's doing Pangara, he's doing Pangara. If he's doing fucking hip hop, he's, he's, he's doing right. trap ass hip hop. Yeah, mm-hmm. but that too, you, there's you're you're not gonna hear a single hip hop beat without a, uh, like a, a sata, a sarangi, mandolin, anything. It's yeah. all this. You're gonna put it into that. It's all there, it's already there. Yo, Yo I met, heard it here. Yeah. Watch. Watch. I that met next uh, Sway Lee at the airport yeah. in LA. Talked to him. Got some numbers exchanged. Sent him beats. First guy I called was this guy. I'm like, Yo. I got like four or five beats on my phone. Do you have any beats sitting there? Send them to me. We'll fucking send them off. And he's like, yo, sending them right now. Boom. Send me four or five beats. Done. Sent it off to the guy. Cool. Like That's I had it. to. If I'm going to call anybody for hip hop beats, it's between me and this dude. <laughs> How did that conversation start? Did you fan out? Like, yo, Sway Lee, what up? Nah. Yo, that was the funniest two minute conversation. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I was sitting down on like a chair. I looked over to my right and there's like an old white lady like yelling at her son. And I'm like looking at that. I'm like, what the fuck is she yelling at? And she's like, and all I heard was like, you're going to do it. Do it now. And then <laughs> she sits down and he sits down beside me. And she's still going at him. And I'm just sitting there on my phone. I'm like on my laptop. And I'm just fucking typing. And I'm laughing. And I'm like, yeah, this is jokes. And I look at her. And she's like, do you know what I'm talking about? I'm like, I have no clue what you're talking about. But this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> and she's, the guy looks at me. He's like, okay, Sway Lee's here. And I already went and went to go take a picture with him. I don't want to go ask him for beats. Like, ask him if I can go be a producer. I'm like, you're a producer? He's oh, like, yeah. Shit. I'm like, go talk to him. Yeah. I'm like, what do you have to lose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, I don't know, sorry, the guy's like, um, I don't know, I just want to seem like an idiot. I'm like, you're not an idiot. If you want to go talk to the guy, go talk to the guy. She's like, see, I told you, go talk to the guy. I'm like, if you're going to sit here and think about it, I'm going to fucking get up. And my laptop. I'm going to go talk to him. And she's like, go with him. I'm like, you can come with me if you want, but I promise you I'm going to talk to him first. And uh, 
and then through that point, I'm like, honestly, I'm leaving. Like, I'm gonna go find a USB key. I'm gonna go get some fucking beats. I'm gonna put them on a fucking USB. Were you key. fucking with them? Were you serious? I was dead serious. Oh, okay. I shut my laptop. I went off, and I was like, yo, I'm on a fucking vibe today. Went outside. Went to go look for a fucking USB. Key, nothing exists. So I went to go talk to guy. I'm like, yo, huge fan. Love you. You're ill at what you do. Can I send you some beats? And he's like, I'm down. That guy is my manager. He literally talks to me every day. Send him beats. You know I can't give a number. But take his number. I'm like, all right, cool. I went, did all that shit, talked to like Winder and blah, 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 send him shit. The white guy goes, goes talk. No, the white kid goes. <laughs> the white guy goes. The white kid goes. He goes and talks to the guy. He only gets his Instagram because he wasn't confident enough. Yeah. And that's the shit. Like, the way, that's the like the one approach. or two steps. Yeah. Exactly. Right? So, like, the, so that's that's the whole point. Like, yo, I was an idiot come, when I came to these guys. You get what I mean? So, pretty much this whole time is... Not them teaching me music, but being a per- being a person, being yeah. a confident person mm-hmm. to be able enough to do all of this. Yeah, you get yeah. what I mean? And this is why we're here sitting today. You get, Straight up. You know, knowing them, it's like anything that happens, it's like, yo, frequency comes first, and then we'll do the yeah. rest. You get what I mean? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, yo, like... Look at, it, this, look at this smile. <laughs> <laughs> like, friends, like, I met everybody one yeah. by one, one by one, but nothing but support comes out of this to me. Because you know? I'm going to be completely honest with you. These guys, when we were talking, we were planning out this season of yeah. what we're going to do. Um, when we talked about our season opener, it was hands down Ikwinda, 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 Ikwinda. And I'm not gonna lie, I, yeah. I know you and I know the music, but I didn't know the depth of yeah, yeah, what yeah. you've done, you know. And I was like, why are you guys so big on Ikwinda? Like I know he's out there, but like I didn't know what you really done. Yeah. And I think it's maybe a part of your branding because your your face hasn't been out there as well. Yeah, much. look, to me, I've I've never wanted to like walk around and have take pictures. You get what I mean? Yeah. I'm more I'm like the yo, if I know. Uh, the people I need to work with, that's enough. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, fan base is a good thing, but like, I don't know. I've never been a fan of the fan base. <laughs> you get what I mean? Yeah. This guy um, has so many songs coming out. It's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> that's what they kept preaching was like, you have no idea what he's doing. Exactly. And because they're involved and like you just said, it's yeah. a frequency thing. So they were, they're in the loop. Right? Yeah. And so, uh, listen, I, I, we had this conversation in India as well. I'm like, yo, I'm trying to go to that school. You know, is it a good idea? And like, it was like, every, there's cons and pros to everything. You get what I yeah. mean? Yeah. So, look, the cons are mostly, yo, I'm pretty much wasting my time there losing the money here in the Punjabi industry. Nah, man. No, no, no. But, but, but like, you get what I mean? Like, no, yeah, there's going to be a pause. I told you separately. Yeah. There's going to be a pause. No, you told me a different thing. Yeah. But that was one of the cons that I understood as well. But, yo, the amount of money I make in 10 years in Punjabi songs is going to be the amount of making one song in the hip hop industry. Straight up. You get Not what I mean? Hip hop industry. Hip hop or film industry. Film industry. Second, yeah. if a guy wants to make a song, you think he's not gonna come to you in fucking Florida and fly out to Toronto afterwards? Yeah, he's gonna fucking go. Okay, from from Delhi, I'm gonna go to Miami and I'm gonna go straight to fucking Toronto. Exactly. If he wants to work with you, he's gonna work he's, with you. Yeah, look. Hundred percent. And and then when I started telling all my artists that yo, I wanna, I wanna, they're like yo, go check in our first flight to Miami. Then. You get what I mean? Like yeah. the people that are down are still gonna fuck with me too. And how old are you right now? I'm 18 right now. Everybody give a round of applause. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Your life is just starting. Yeah. You're literally just starting. I don't think money is going to be a concern for you. I don't think anything's going to be a concern. You just focus. You've had your plan. You knew yeah. where you were going, and you're following it. For sure, man. So, like, like I said, yo, the plan is theirs, bro. Like, yeah. if if it wasn't for the good um, morals that came out of this team, if your dad didn't leave you at the airport, if my dad, didn't, <laughs> I'd be I'd be still depending on him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But still, yo, like me and him have had. Upside up, ups, ups and, and downs, downs with singers as well. Yeah, but I mean, at the end of the day, yo, it's I like, still hate those singers. Yeah, I'll say it's yo, up. like, but <laughs> but <laughs> it's me and him. You get what I yeah. mean? Yeah. It's it's they're they're new, and these are brothers right here. You get what I mean? Yeah. And so that's what matters, and that's why when I get like I said, the first thing I care about. In the hip hop industry, is this bug? Yeah, and then everybody else. That's yeah. you know what I mean. And then well, I think we're all gonna make a road trip down. To we, uh, uh, I already told him he has three months to figure out the area. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no, no, for like, sure. Yo, gonna shoot the next there's podcast. Some, there's some yes. gentlemen's clubs. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Sunk I got some wrestling. dollar yeah. bills. <laughs> I got some dollar bills. No, that's super dope that you're you're following your dream. You're you're doing exactly what you said you were gonna do. And at the end of the day. Well, your your success is everybody's success. Everybody else's like success, you said, right? if yeah. you're you're putting the bug uh, at that sort of a stance, just like we said, Diljit did with that wax museum. Yeah. It's you're you're just raising the bar, man. That's and it, that's man. All and it is. yo, just separate from that, I remember when you told me about the teeth, saying that was one of the key reasons because uh, you're a saying that makes music yes. the way you do. He's like, yo, I want to step that up on that level. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That was a big <laughs> yo, because because a person like an image is like. I, I everyone I would hear is like yo like bug guys get recognized a lot even if it's hate like you know people hating on us bug guys but they 
you remember that face, right? Yeah. You get what I mean? No, so, we try to highlight that. Yeah. So now, uh, shout out to all the pot guys. Yeah. <laughs> so now think about it. Like, if 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 um if I'm in a studio and we know how hip hop works, J yeah. knows. You get what I mean? It's it's a bunch of girls, bunch of guys, weed everywhere, and uh-huh. it drinks one everywhere. yeah drinks everywhere. But if I'm just there sitting doing one thing that I'm good at. They're going to remember me. You get what I mean? Yeah. Good or bad, they'll come to me today, but they'll come to me. Look, look it doesn't matter it. what it is. They're going to remember you if you're good uh, at what you do. Yeah. So, uh, so a guy like Murder Beats, he's that probably that white kid that was sitting yeah. next to him in the airport, but Murder Beats is the white kid who actually made it. You exactly. Know? And that's yeah. all it comes down to is yeah. he, he was just big and he got picked up by Migos that's and all it. of a sudden shit got and lit, and, you know? and in my advantage is, yeah, I'm young, but yo, like never, like never before it. Um, uh, what's it called? Social media is popping like crazy, yeah, crazy. Yeah. So it, it, if you if you uh, that's the way to get to people. Yeah, yeah, like what I mean? with the with the technology nowadays. Yeah, you being here or you being in it doesn't Florida, make a difference. It's not going to make a difference because yeah. so, if someone wants to work with you, they're going to send you it. Yeah, and you're going to get it done. Yeah, and like like I said before, that's that's the way to go. I, like Toronto's huge, but not big enough. Yeah. You know, so moving, I've always been the guy, yo, if, I, if you move your location, you're going to, you know, you're going to think differently. You're going to do everything differently. Mm-hmm. One, I'll be able to study what these guys study and now they're masters at. <laughs> I'll be able to take over that too. Yeah. <laughs> do it. He's <laughs> going to be the ustad. Yeah. Two, yeah. two, yo, you, I, I don't know where this part will Yo, nothing take is me, fucking yeah. rocket science. You and can ho- figure out anything you want. It, Hopefully a uh, year from now, two years from now, whenever you got time, you got to come back. We got to follow up with this No, no, you guys no, are no, 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 we're going to, yeah. we're going to. Bro, bro, we're going to a podcast in, in Florida. In Florida. It's announced yeah. right now. It's Magic City in Florida. Even if it's Magic City. Even if it's just me and That's where I want to go. Magic City. <laughs> if you don't want Magic City, let's go Google Magic City. Yo, we're but this have, guy is going to fucking take over some movie as, uh, what's it called? Scores? Score? Yeah. Score? And then I'm going to mix Master Room. Yeah. That's it, that man. Put the family <laughs> that, yeah, That's it. Yeah. Two other jots. We're, we're going to have <laughs> yeah. a, a real special um, Punjabi Shazam today where we're going to do some super, super special where yeah, we're going to set that up right now. Some. We're going to set that up. Before we get to that, uh, I know that this is the uh, season opener, so I want to make sure that we get to everything that you guys are doing as well. I know, DJ M, you had a couple tracks that you worked on this past year. I had one song and the video bad. Jetty. You don't want to talk about it? I don't want to talk about it. Yo, sick the track, song was though. good. Sick I mean, song was good, good, man. I had those two. I got married, so. Song, the song was good. So your life's over. Video yeah, okay. <laughs> bad Jetty was a sick track, but can yeah. we talk about Gumbo's wedding? Yeah. No, we talked about Gumbo's wedding. It's like a yeah. podcast yeah. on its own. Yeah. But, no, no, I mean KSR is obviously doing uh, frequency and powered by frequency. The AV stuff that you yeah, guys are doing. busy yeah. with weddings now and just back on my podcast. Mixes something coming out every month. You're on now. Spotify Basically, now. Basically, smash the industry again. Yeah, he already did it before. <laughs> did, what He's was fuck it? Like, did you take again. a little break uh-uh. and then thought now it's time to come back? Because you, you, I mean, you got busy, man. Like, it, it been busy with the season, getting married, all that. But now it's like more focused. So. Uh, my goal is to every month put out a podcast, put out a dull mix, put up a mashup mix. So it's every the first, eleventh, twenty first is always gonna be something for me. You say that so easily, but what kind of work does it take to put all that out? Uh, I mean, it does take a lot of work, and sometimes I regret it. You know, because <laughs> I'm, you're I'm you're only in the second month. For yourself, right? I'm only in the second month. I'm like, fuck. Why That's did three I do things it? a month. Yeah. That's a lot. But I have to. Because I do one thing. I'm like, okay, let's take a break. Then the next day is like, fuck. I'm only like nine days away from the next one, right? Mm-hmm. And it keeps going. So. I mean, it's good, man. I, I, uh, hopefully, I can just keep it up and just keep putting out stuff. How many DJs it. do you guys have now in Frequency Entertainment? There's a lot 15? Right there. All together? <laughs> it's not even up to We have 15 guys. Uh-huh. I checked my the WhatsApp group. <laughs> <laughs> checked out my WhatsApp group. We have 32 guys on the Frequency Ooh. roster right now. So you guys Shout have a, a full toll team. You guys do a uh, full juggle experience. Yeah, whatever you need, we have. Basically, if you want to, you want to get married. This Look. is a one-stop shop. You want a band? It could just not trust. If we're not, <laughs> your, if we're not your first option, there really is no other option. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> all right. And Jody, what are you up to, man? I know we we always say it. Season two, we said it all along. We're waiting for new music. What's going on? Tell us what's Yo, happening. Lots of new music this year. We kind of changed our whole perspective on how to release stuff. Mm-hmm. Blonde like, Ball did well. Uh, it did well. Yeah. There's still a lot of people that reach out and saying they loved it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this year, it's a lot about songs that are very me and the kind of stuff that I really want to do. Which with, is? With uh, everybody on this table, including Spence Singh, that's not on this table. Um, just a lot of music that's... That we're, not gonna there, on, we're not going to focus on... We're not going to focus... 
Sorry? A lot of music. Yeah. A lot of music sitting that's there. sitting there. But also, like I said, the whole perspective, like we, we kept trying to go through big labels and trying to get it on yeah. TV, yeah, yeah, trying yeah, to get yeah. this. Mm -hmm. But now we're just focused on trying to get it on our own freak records or my own channel yep. and just trying to get music out there regardless of how much money we're putting into it. It, right? it yeah. helps that he's like a, 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 good, a big time producer now. And I've done good stuff too. And yeah, like everyone's popping at this point. Yeah. You get what I mean? And these guys are so, always there to help out. Like with JJ yeah. and Anik when they're like, I'm always, I'm, I, you guys I, just I came from the recording. studio before this, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. like, even, even for me, it's like the whole point, like, as, even with Spin saying, it was like, yo, let's put him on tracks, you know? It's, uh, we, cause we did all that stuff, the SoundCloud stuff and everything. Yeah. So now let's, let's build that together. So now that everybody's name is around the world, mm -hmm. you know, it's way better for him to start a platform now than yeah. it was like, yo, go, getting bitched around by companies yeah, it's not yeah, even yeah. that before you're like yeah you're right yeah but before we're like oh fuck what song do we put out first with Jyoti? Yeah. and we how do, do we put it out because yeah. if he gets labeled as one guy he gets labeled as one guy mm -hmm. like akil he's the love song dude yeah, 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 and you yeah, yeah. like if he does a bangla song you'll be like yeah fuck off yeah everybody's like Faji, like, when are you so putting out the next uh patalo type so song with this, i don't that's yeah, not what i want to do right so now with him we're like just Put out music, yeah. and this was yeah. these guys talking. Like I, I think I came late into the like the you wanted to do it, like you wanting to do it, but like they're all gonna work on music, and I'm gonna work on music with them. Is putting out music that he can actually put out and feel confident putting out. Mm -hmm. We're hopefully all this, yeah. more. Yeah. I'm gonna songs. give a huge shout out to G Sidhu as yeah. local talent that didn't give a fuck about the whole the way the industry is working. He was like, yo, you know what? I know I can sing. I have guys that can make me a good uh, good beats. Yeah, he can make decent videos, and he just started putting out stuff. What on a his way own, to right? release an album! That yeah. guy, yeah, man. yo, wow. it. look at it. it. Forget Huge that. Yeah. Look how long he's been putting out music exactly. for. Yeah. Track yeah. after yeah. track exactly. after track, and every track was a banger, man. What track on that guy's album? If the, has he released a full album or did he? Yeah, Billy Tape. The song Billy Tape was all I gotta say track. is. That guy's got something coming out, which is gonna be fine. Yeah, and then yeah. nobody yeah. else say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> no talking. No shout out to all I know is. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. All those New York people, man. Even uh, the guys behind the scenes, the Punjab Media Hub guys, always supporting uh, uh, Jut Memes. All these guys are always supporting and they're doing big, big things out there in New yeah. York. I've never seen any different Jut Memes, though. Just no, saying. Jut Memes. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, they're good. They're, they're big, man. They're big. They're big. <laughs> I've seen a lot from uh, Ram Gunny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, oh, sorry, we don't got too many, that many jets at the table. My bad. <laughs> no, nah, we got four. We got four. We got four. Not enough. Yeah. Not enough. Four out of two. <laughs> not enough. <laughs> you want to go back to Mexico? There are none of you guys. It's because of Ram Gunning's wedding. That's why. <laughs> so the, yeah. the bottom line is that the the five guys, uh, four, yeah, five of you guys at this table got a lot coming out, a lot going on. M wasn't happy with this 2018. He's going to have a better 2019. No, my 2018. As a DJ was fucking great. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I DJed in Mexico. I DJed in India two times. I went to Australia. I was yeah. all over the place. Yeah, that's huge. No, as way DJ, more places. Yo, me and KSI right? were in Australia too. Yeah. But yeah. as a musician, as a producer, <laughs> like music's going to keep coming out and yeah. keep going. Like I was I was happy with my releases, but I wasn't happy with the shit. My thing with this releases. guy? Yeah. He's so talented. He's or he's like literally frequencies next hit. Yeah. Like Hopefully. He is. DJ he's the dude. He's, he, yo, he's getting more. He's got more booking next year than me and this guy. Yeah. yeah. Right? No, I it's not about the bookings. Yeah. My thing was <laughs> like, yo, my, my 2018 was good. It is what it is. No, my no, 2018 it is. was good. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. But the difference is what he did to become a fucking success, which was change the industry, he did forever mixtape that blew him the fuck up. That mm -hmm. was something different no one's ever heard. Yeah. For this guy, he needs to be putting out music because that whole mixtape phase is a little bit done. I know. And we've been pushing this Yo, guy to put out music. Even, and once he does, he will fucking destroy it. I, 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 I self-doubt myself a lot. Like, I, I yeah, could yeah. treat my music a little bit too hard. And but we like, don't. No, no. But, but, like, I feel like 2018 as a DJ it was one of my best years. 2019 is going to be even better. And 2020 is going to be even better than uh, that. Even as, as DJs for Frequency, honestly, we're past that point where, you know, like... Everyone's DJing. Every weekend, we're all booked up. Yeah. That's that goal we've accomplished. Everyone's doing it. You know, I, I can't even count how many weddings we have. We're never at home. So now all of us are looking at the next step. We're always here to grow. You know, yeah. whether he's making music, JJ, myself, Spin Sing, 
everyone's looking to even grow more. The weddings, no, yeah, we have that. We're weddings are on lock. Yeah. We we didn't even talk about that anymore. When um, yeah. happy, there's nothing to talk about. We have it. We're yeah. done. We're doing it. No, yeah. I mean anybody <laughs> anybody who lives in Toronto yeah. or in North America period knows if you come to Toronto, if Frequency Entertainment runs stuff. Yeah. I, if you go to Vancouver, Decibel's doing it big yeah, out there yeah, as yeah, well, yeah. and you guys are partnered with them. So yeah, yeah. I mean, it just shows yeah. that everybody who's in the industry is building together and trying to do some big things. Um, while well, Happy Rack Worthy was here, he was like especially here for me because he, he he wanted to do an album. Um, so uh, he shows me the song and I go like, uh, okay, yeah, for my whole to grow up now because I wanted it to be a everybody's album. You get yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So I call him Mani. I'm like I'm like yo, it's an okay song. You get what? Yeah. Song comes back to me. I'm like, bro, can I take the song? Like it's so good. I'm like yo, I want my name on it, but. Yeah. Credit to him, bro. You get what I mean? Nah, he's man. the one. But he's the one who. Ma- shout us for the opportunity. Man. Yo, yeah, but he he comes. He goes, hey, bro. Like, who are these people? You know, like it turns out to be one guy, but then you present me fifteen other, and they're all bangers. You get oh, what I mean? I'm telling so, you, man. so it's a it's a big thing that everybody's trying to venture out to different yeah. things. When you, you know? say hopefully. like, when Hopefully. when we used to drop names, they would seem so far you couldn't reach. And yeah. now when I'm sitting beside somebody who's got voice notes from Diljit, yeah. I'm like, okay, anything is possible. You yeah. just gotta really work on your craft and keep moving that's, forward. That's it. You know? That's it. With that being said, let's take a quick break. What's your favorite song, uh, like Winder? Right off the top of your head. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Of my own? Yeah. Bomb search your name. Okay. <laughs> 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 one, one last thing before we go into the next. <laughs> That's song. love. Yo, That's brotherly love. That's right love there. right there. I've been listening to this song all week, and I know like uh, some of these guys might not like it. It's not like the like a dance for a banger. It's not even like something you would probably play in your car, but I like it. I played it in my car. I've been listening to this song. Let's give it a pump. I've been listening to this song all week. All week and like the video on YouTube says Ravi Ball, so I thought Ravi Ball from England produced this song for the last week. I was like, Yo, Ravi Ball's coming back. I'm like, Yo, this is sick. I'm like, This is fucking Midas Touch Four, guy. That's crazy. <laughs> Midas. <laughs> Midas. <laughs> Midas Touch 4. Yo, nobody knows what you're talking about. You're right? talking about Mokita. <laughs> Mokita. <laughs> but I didn't. You know don't what, know what I I'm talking about. about. Mokita yeah, yeah. saying Midas Touch. <laughs> Anything I touch but, is gold, motherfucker. But I'm like, this is the sickest track. But then I went to the description and I was like, yo, I messaged him yesterday. I'm like, yo, Gwinder, you made this? This is sick. So, we're, we're going to play. That's on? Let's All right. Let's right. Let's can let's can we say the track name? Del da Cora by Sajjana Deep. Del da what? <laughs> Del da Cora na Cora. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you know we don't know how to speak Punjabi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Put a comment down there to tell us why. <laughs> All right, we're back. What an amazing season opener, season three. We're happy to be here. We're happy to have Vic Winder sing with us. Great episode. Like we said, we're going to follow up with you within a year to two years, whenever you got time. For sure. All right, the Scott Storch of uh, the yeah. Punjab industry. <laughs> hey. And with that being said, we should have did this with Shinda. We should have did this with a couple other people. We didn't get the opportunity to, but we're going to do it with you so we don't miss out. Igwinder's yes. got the keyboard in front of him for those that you are uh, th- for those of you that are listening. <laughs> and what he's gonna do is we're gonna get you to just to play a couple tracks that you've made, and we'll do a quick warm up for Shazam, and then we'll Ooh. play. All right, we good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What we're are we gonna start good. with? Diamond, Ganampola. Well, you can't tell him. You just guess. All right, then you guess him. All right, let's go. Oh, we'll start with Diamond. Then. Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> That's the killer right there. The difference. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah. We'll play something outside. <laughs> play something that's not yours. I'm a yeah. motherfucking P.I.M.P. Hey. Oh, okay. hey. I wasn't even expecting that. I was like, I was, like, I was I trying to figure out I part of song. Yeah, I, like, I, like, I, like, I, like, I said offside, didn't I? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Are we warmed up? Yeah. All right, hey, we're ready. We this game? We're yeah, ready for Punjabi Shazam. We're going to see who's got the better ear. We have the reigning champ from season two, DJ This guy's M. lost like 60 times. <laughs> <I've> lost <laughs> so many times. But you've never beat me, so whatever. I know, I've never said I was going to We got the reigning champ, DJ M. He's going to go against the up and coming Ikwinder Singh, Young Buck. <laughs> I lost to Sean Young last Buck. time. And we got Spin yeah. Singh with the track selection. Is everybody ready to play? Let's go. All right, Spin Yo, Singh, track number one. Did Let's you, go. Did you text me the answers? I'm pretty happy right now. Me too. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's go. Oh, what the was? It? What? More than that. What? Too, too quick. Hold on. Is it playing from the headphones or from the? Both. Yeah. Both. Okay. We got. We need like a, a little bit more than that. Give us two seconds. Like that one. 
Well, That's Gurley's octave for sure. We started. Like, yeah, we were talking on top. All right, ready? Down. Track number one. Three, let's go. Two, one. Oh, no, 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 it's it's canceled canceled because there's lyrics. You can't have lyrics. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. What do you mean it's canceled? That's how the song starts. I thought that was the rule. Notorious Jot. I'm got it. What? What? By Notorious Jot. No. What? No, the song was done. All right, who got it? Who got it? I just came in. We ended the game yesterday. When he got it. All right, Spin saying, I'm not liking this right now, but track number two. Notorious Jot. This is what we don't do. It was by Notorious Jot, you motherfuckers. But it was by Kaka singing it. Yeah, but it was the producer was Notorious Jot. This is what we don't do our own podcast. We just get too late. We get too late. It's okay. We're having fun. Let's go. Track number two. Guitar se kata. Nobody got it. Go again. Three. Mirza, Punjabi MC, part two. Yeah. Wow. Wow. What? What the wow. fuck wow. just happened? Oh. If I can pull this How'd you think of that? Did you think of a yeah. guitar? I heard it. I heard it. Do nothing. Alright, that was fucked up. That was fucked up. Wow. DJ M, two nothing. Track number three, Spin Sing. We heard this today. You guys ready? Ikwindu, you gotta get one. Let's go. Track number three. It's a jut. <laughs> Three, two, one. Kamali. Damn. Oh. Yo, these are really oh, fucking oh, yeah. hard, man. Yeah. I can't even the hear you. This guy regular. We oh, was this guy a regular. The cue was pretty low. It was Kamali? Play it again. Yeah. Good like. Oh. oh, there it is. It is Kamali. Oh, oh, <laughs> this guy made this guy got outside. Oh, <laughs> Knocked out a gunder <laughs> with the mic. All right, we got <laughs> knocked the other. All right, we haven't got a track yet. It's two to one. We've got two more oh tracks God. to go. <laughs> Igwinder, if you get the next one, you guys are in a tie. If he gets the next one, he wins. Fuck you, man. Track number four, Spin Sing. Let's go. Three, two, one. Oh, uh, Diamond. No, no River, River Chanjir. Chanjir. Fuck. Oh, Chanjir. I had Fuck. That. Who got yeah, that, KSR? No, no Mani beat him. Mani beat no, no, him. it's Ram versus Chanjir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mani beat him. Did Mani beat him? Mani beat him, Mani, yeah. Mani beat him for sure. It's just no fun playing with this yeah. fucking guy, <laughs> man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. All I love. And he's we haven't had a guest right, in a while. Right, just stick to the fucking keyboard. Yeah, I'm going to stick to this. Yeah, my ears are not good enough. No, shout out DJ M for having an insane fucking ear. This guy just really knows his shit. Yo, that Just finish the yeah, game Mirza off. was like, what? That was one. That are we like doing a bonus key. track? Do that that end like it off or are we good? Uh, I think we're just gonna play something. <laughs> no, 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 All right, Mini, we're just just for fun. We're gonna do one more. Last we, track of the night. Yeah, win. Spin, sing, three, won, yeah. two, yeah. one. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, not yet, not yet. We'll try that again. We'll try that again. I think you should play bumps at tornado, right. yo. Yeah, like, just, ready? Bump Citrine. No. <laughs> Wonderland? <laughs> Jetta no. Coca. No, Jetta Coca. No, it's uh, Sidhu Musiala. No. No? no? Play it again? No. Play it again, play it again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it, I got it. Can I see it? Oh, like, Lahore. No. no. It's, it's a mandolin. It's a Uchiya Nigala? No. no. Play it. Again. One, two, three. It's a girl what? singing. That's just Monarch. It's a Age 19? Gurley's actor. But what's the Defaulter. So what's the track? Defaulter. Defaulter. Arnit. All right, boys. Random, random track. I suck. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> DJ M1. I'm not coming Cam. back. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> For everybody watching, we apologize for being belligerent. We're, we're having fun. This is a home team episode where we had all the frequency in here. So you know the bottles are already done because we're missing them. We had a great episode. Gwinda, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you, guys. Thank Make you sure guys. you Good don't luck. forget us. Host us in, uh, in Florida when Good you're out there. Good luck in Florida, brother. Beachside, beachside. All right. And Sektar, we got a lot of hoi, hoi, hoi's coming uh -huh. up with you. <laughs> Right? <laughs> All right, sit down. Sit down, yo. Let's get let's get this going. All right, season three. Let's get it popping. We're gonna have a lot of big episodes to come. We're looking forward to it. Thank you guys let's once again going, for yeah. listening to our last two seasons. Peace oi, out. Oi, Peace. Oi, oi, oi. Peace out. We're, hey. gonna, we're gonna have the after party. <laughs> that sends it. That's it. <laughs>